tournaments. Welcome to Provost Humphrey Stadium in Beaumont, Texas. We're on the campus of Lamar University. The Lamar Cardinals under new head coach Pete Rossomondo ready to open the season against the eighth-ranked Idaho Vandals. We've got Thursday night football to kick it off. Hello, everyone. I'm Bob Slovak along with my broadcast partner, Dan Gresham. And, Dan, hey, man, we're ready for some football tonight. We are, but uh, the heat is still here. It's, you know, it's 7 o'clock, and it's 94 degrees in Beaumont <laughs> with some humidity. I don't think these guys from Moscow, Idaho, have played in this kind of heat. They're about to be tested. Yeah, and the coach said, you know, they, they, they went a little extra during workouts and stuff, and just to be ready, uh, we'll see how ready they are. They have some Mr. fans blowing full blast over on the sideline. But I think this applies to both teams. Even though Lamar worked out in it and they've been dealing with the heat ever since they came back for summer camp, I think once you get into a game situation, everything changes. It's so much different than practice. I always tell people the best day as a college football player is first game day. Okay. It's the end of summer camp. Oh, you don't you go. ever go back to that routine till the end of the season. This is when the fun starts. I know both these teams are ready to play. Let's uh, talk about some keys to the game, starting with Lamar. Absolutely. Let's talk about what Lamar has to do. Lamar is limited in what they know they have as far as offense goes. And I think they need to come out, see what they can do. But keep it in control. Keep the clock on their side. I think that can work to their advantage. The other thing avoid needless penalties don't make silly mistakes that are going to cost you and put you in the hole and result in points for the other team plus limit damage from the big plays if you let this receiver get behind you actually two of them for idaho the vandals will hurt you because they've got a quarterback that can go long definitely can so we'll see if they can control that coach rosamondo says hey we need to get this to the fourth quarter yeah he, he's open maybe they can wear him down a little bit but we will see what happens as for the vandals what are their keys to victory i think for them really they've got to avoid being one-dimensional yes they can throw the ball and yes they are very good at it but they also have a running back that can hurt you as well so i think they have to employ the run game they've got on the other side of the ball stop lamar on the run and if they do that, I think that they'll take most of the offense away from Lamar. And they, as we just talked about, they've got to find ways to beat the Heat. If it's rotations, if it's getting players in and out on short breaks, they're going to have to do that and find a way to stay hydrated. We're wondering what we're going to see from the Cardinals' offense tonight because uh, the Coach Rosamondo, he's going to go with the transfer quarterback Robert Coleman as his starter. Yeah, a bit of a surprise. I think a lot of people thought that Jacoby Longino, who was the starter last year at the end of the season, would probably – be the heir apparent to start this game, but he's not. And in talking to Coach Rosamondo today, he basically said they were so close, all three of his quarterback candidates, that he just had to go with what he felt in his gut, and he's going with Coleman, and this is not going to be a two-quarterback system. No, it's, he's not going to pull out the hook, he told us. He says, this is Coleman's game. Win or lose, get out there and show me what you got. So yep. on the Idaho side, man, what a quarterback they have. Boy, do G they. Giovanni McCoy, a sophomore this year, an incredible freshman season. And it's a great story because last year he was not the starter at the beginning of the season, yeah. but an injury forced him into the starting job, and he just inherited it like he'd always had it. He owned it like he liked it. I mean, he went out and won the Jerry Rice Award, which is the national award for freshman, freshman. of the year. And then, of course, as we mentioned, he's got two – thousand plus receivers so he's got a lot of targets i'm get. really uh anxious to see in person uh, hayden hatton hayden hatton's 1200 the real deal. yards 16 touchdowns last year yeah. unbelievable he's the real deal great hands good speed all right we're gonna get ready get set ready to go we've got the kickoff coming up right after this We are live in Beaumont, Texas. The Lamar Cardinals, Idaho Vandals, getting set to take a uh, kickoff now. Uh, the weather could be a lot worse than it is right now. 93 degrees, about 35% humidity. Uh, we're going to see how that plays into this game for both sides, Dan. Well, and I think they caught a bit of a break, really, Bob, when you think about it. We're, we've got overcast skies, so I think that's helping. And we've had a north breeze, the wind out of the north. So, yes, humidity is at 35%. But it's not unusual for it to be at 45 or 50 percent, so the humidity is relatively low. Yeah, we don't really have a feel like temperature when you got low, low humidity tonight. So we're ready to go. 
Uh, this ought to be interesting on the Lamar side. They got new head coach, Pete Rossamondo. He's coming in, bringing in a new culture, Dan. Yeah, a whole new regime, of course. Uh, he's, he came into town in December. So uh, between here and there, he's had to hire a staff, recruit the country. He brought in 26 new players. And then he also, of course, had to make some community ties. But he says he's excited. This is a guy that's built, you know, programs in the past. Uh, he's done it at two different schools, and he's ready to do it at a third. All right, Lamar is going to kick it off. Chris. And we are underway. Game number one, 2023 season. It'll be a touchback. The Vandals will take over at the 25 for their first possession of the game. A little different perspective here as we, we, we let you inside the curtain. We're calling this game from the press box area. So we will definitely be able to see these plays develop. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, and, and to give it perspective for us, we're actually calling it from the end zone, which I like. I like watching it because, I to me, that's a better look at the X's and O's and what's really happening from a different dimension. But here come the Vandals. You know that they're raring to go. Again, they came off a season last year. They made it all the way to the FCF playoffs and lost to Southeastern Louisiana the Southland from the Southland Conference. So they've had a taste of Southland Conference in the playoffs. All right, first and 10 from the 25, Giovanni McCoy, number four, calling the signals for the Vandals. They come in ranked eighth in the preseason poll. And McCoy's going to throw it out first. And it was complete to the outside to Hatton. Surprise, surprise, right? Kind of had a pretty good idea that Hatton would be the target number 80. We mentioned the fact that he is a hero sports sophomore All-American first team last year as a freshman. Got all kinds of attention as well. He appeared in 12 games. He played tight end as a freshman, then made the switch to Whitehead. Wearing number 80 kind of reminds me of Collinsworth a little bit. And there's a running play for a couple there for the Vandals. Try to go right up the middle, just going to the strong side. Lamar's line shuts him down. Joshua Landrum, among others, up to make the stop. So the Cardinals wearing all white. It is their preference, and the Vandals have to wear the all black. That may be a little bit of mind games right there, you know, have them wear the black uniforms. They do look sharp, though. They do look good. <laughs> they, do look you know, they look very clean. They look very slim <laughs> in their black uniforms. All right, third and three for the Vandals. First possession of the game. McCoy looking to throw, going over to the left side, and it is complete to Hatton again for a first down. Yeah, running out of the shotgun and just finding the little out route there towards the sideline for the completion. Lamar, as we said, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experienced secondary. They brought in a couple of uh, transfers uh, to kind of beef things up. So, it, you know, if you were talking about a strong suit for their defense, I'd have to think it is in the backfield. And you asked uh, Coach, Coach Rosamondo about the transfer, how important they are, and he says they are very important in this se transition season. Yeah, don't get me started on the transfer portal. Well. <laughs> yes. That is that is uh, something that every coach is dealing with. Some like it and some despise it. First and 10. McCoy, lots of time. Over the middle connection. Hatton, once again, you can see why he is the preseason offensive MVP. Well, and you can also see how he got in between coverage there. He just worked his way up, then ran the slant and caught the ball in the open field. And he's a good runner. That's the other thing. It's not just a catch. He's also a good runner once he makes the catch. Hatton out of Scottsdale, Arizona. His twin brother is the long snapper. We'll talk more about the family family ties, family affair for Idaho as we go along here. So a first and ten as the Vandals are moving down the field. McCoy going to hand it off up the middle. For a couple. Yeah, that getting up from there is Anthony Woods. Played in all 12 Vandal games last year. 880 yards, three touchdowns. So, like I said, they have both elements. They can hurt you with the run just like they can with the pass. All right, short gain on first down. We'll go second and nine. Vandal's trying to move into the red zone here. 
quick out. There's Hatton again, and he'll pull his way forward. It looks like he has another first down. Well, we see what the connection's going to be. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think that was any surprise. And everybody knows that's what's impressive. So you've spent you know two or three weeks knowing full well that this is what they're going to do, and you still can't stop them. It's kind of like until you do, they're going to keep going to Hatton. First and ten on the 18-yard line. So first and ten now from the 18. Hatton on the far left. Boy, looks sharp so far early on. Patton in motion this time. McCoy, a little bit of pressure by the Cardinals over the middle, almost picked off, but it's caught. Wow, I thought Kevin Anderson had a hand on that ball. He made the break for the ball, but he didn't get to it in time, and the completion is good. Jackson with the catch, the other 1,000-yard receiver returning for the Vandals. Yeah, watch number seven come across. Tries to end right there, yeah, made the break, but just missed it, the I ball, think. yeah. Gain of four, second and six coming up. Kevin Anderson, one of those transfers, came to Lamar from Texas State. Senior out of Louisville. And there's going to be a handoff to Woods, and he'll get a couple of tough ones there. Bring up a third down. This is where the Cardinal defense needs to come up big here, hold them to a field goal. Yeah, we talked about limiting the damage, especially early. If you can keep them out of the end zone, that would, to me, that would be a major accomplishment. The that way would, they've yeah. moved the ball, if you can stiffen here and only give up three. They got a little bit of pressure there. They need to do it again. What did they say? It's the little victories? This would be a big one, I think. Yeah, third and three. I'd be all over Hatton right now. McCoy looking to the right. He'll throw, and it is caught. And down to the five-yard line for the first down. Yeah, enough done, though. Enough damage done. That's uh, Jordan Dwyer the f making the catch there. So the Vandals convert on a third and three. And now first, first and goal from the five. Jason Eck, head coach for the Vandals in his second year in Moscow, not Russia, Idaho. Oh, going to spread them out. Yeah, they got them spread out wide. And they're going to hand go it off and go way. the other That's, way. Yeah. Good pursuit by the Cardinals. And the Vandals will lose one. Nobody, nobody uh, left home that time. That was pretty clever. They did trips to the left yeah. and went the opposite direction. But Lamar's defense really stayed at home. Aiden Kapnick uh, did a good job uh, blocking up there, but wasn't enough. Yeah, Fode J-Lo, number six, one of the Cardinals in on that stop. So we'll go second and goal. McCoy, slant pattern, touchdown, yeah, Vandals. One-on-one, and, and, on one and he won that one. Hatton does it as the Vandals put it up on the board. And they just marched down the field 75 yards. Yeah, yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, the drive winds up being uh, 69 yards, I think, it, by the time they got finished. Hatton There's with the catch. touchdown. Yeah, nice yeah. catch. So he had uh, he had at least five catches. PAT is up and it is good. All right, so there you there you have the first possession of the game for the Vandals, and they stick it in the end zone. Seven nothing. We're early in the first quarter. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always... How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? 
those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. His team ready to play here. He was looking for a quick start as they travel down here to Beaumont, Texas to take on the Cardinals of Lamar. And there is the kick, and Harris is going to take it from about the seven-yard line, looking for some room, gets back to the 20, still going, still going, and he's breaking free. Harris with a nice effort here, all the way close to the 30-yard line. Wow, that was outstanding. I mean, as far as not quitting, not giving up after the first hit, if that's the kind of fight that they're going to bring, it could be an interesting game. If everybody plays with the same kind of attitude, he brought in that return. Maje Harris, 6'2", 220 out of Killeen. He had a 100-yard kick return last he year. Did. I, he I did. I remember it. All he, the way. Yeah. he fumbled the ball and almost kicked it and then took it off and go. So but he's got talent. I think talent. you can see why. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because he does. If, uh, you know, uh, arm around the leg is not going to be enough to stop him. All right, Robert Coleman, the transfer from Mount San Jacinto College, is going to start a quarterback for the Cardinals. He's going to hand it off to Caleb Griffin. And, again, Griffin was the running game last season for the Lamar Cardinals. So the Vandals have had all summer – to get ready for this first game. And you know they're looking for Griffin. And, and you know, it's going to take more than power left and power right to push the Lamar offense. I'm anxious to see if Coleman will open one up over the middle here. Second and 11 after the loss of one. He'll pitch it back to Griffin again. A little razzle-dazzle. And Coleman had was looking to go deep. Now he's going to run for it. And he'll take it down out of, out of bounds there with maybe a pickup of one. Okay. Coach Rosamondo told me last week, I stopped by practice, he said, be ready for the second play. <laughs> so that was the second play. They went with the double reverse, looking to go deep. Great play, though, by uh, the defensive back. I think it's Lamon. Jakari Lamon, yes. Never gave up. And you looked at his receiver, never fooled for a moment. They were one-on-one, -on -one and he had him step for step all the way down the field. All right, third and 13 now. Coleman looking to the outside, ball batted at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. So that's not what the Cardinals wanted, a three and out. And certainly, you know, the, the problem with that is, Bob, three and out when you're at the 21 is going to give Idaho great field position. And Mo is on their side. We'll see what uh, Alfonso DeLeon can do. He is an excellent punter, averaging right at 41 yards a kick last season. 12.50 yarders. He needs a crank one right here. DeLeon puts a foot into it. And it's going to be returned. A lot of room on the sideline. I think they're going to call him out. I think he stepped out at about the uh, 47. 
And that's where they're going to mark him out. Donovan mark it there, spotted for the Vandals. Jackson with the return. And he had a lot of room there. Cardinals closed it quickly, though. All right, we're going to take a break. 6.15 left to go here in the first quarter. Vandals lead at 7-0 over the Cardinals. Elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1Patch. Citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go. Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry leading protection to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Idaho's going to start their second possession of the game in Lamar territory at the 46-yard line after a nifty little return by Jermaine Jackson, number one for Idaho, as he'll take it and find a lot of room on the right side. Looked like he was going to go a lot farther. Yeah, 19 yards, though, before he steps out of bounds. So, yeah, nice right there, but a nice return. All right, McCoy, back to pass. Getting a little bit of pressure, flushed out, running. He's going to keep it himself. He's got some room, and he'll slide down. And the flag comes in there. Kind of led with the helmet there. That was tough. Sliding down is kind of hard to avoid. You see a little bit of uh, yeah, a little extra. confrontation going on there, a little conversation. McCoy, you know, as, as we were talking about earlier, yeah, he can throw the ball, but he can also he can move. I mean, there's no he, doubt. He's very mobile quarterback. And in this kind of an offense, that only works to his favor because he's got such great receivers. you got to worry about them, so that leaves him open to run if he wants to. Personal foul is the call, late hit. So they'll tack on 15 more. Lamar, we knew Lamar was going to come out here a little jittery playing the eighth-ranked FCS team in the country and so much firepower back for Idaho. Cardinals need need something good to go for them. I, you know, I'm, a, I'm assuming that they're saying because he had his head tilted down, yes. that, that was enough to indicate it was almost targeting instead of just a tackle. Looks like we have a timeout on the field. 6.04 left here in the first quarter. Idaho controlling this early game here. Opening night, Thursday night football, college football is back. Lamar Cardinals with new head coach Pete Rossomondo coming in, and they, he's, he told us earlier this week, you know, they hired him to change things around here. We're going to let them sort things out. We'll be back right after this. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your pro extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, 
Download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch. Butterfingers. Just like my Nana. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. What any? What any? Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hot, hot. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your... Handles on the 23 after the personal foul. McCoy back to pass, looking over the middle. There's some pressure from the Cardinals. He'll tuck it under and run again himself and out of bounds near the 15. You're right, Dan, man. He's quick. Very quick. And, you know, he's got the option. I mean, if it's not there, he's going to tuck it and run unless he's feeling some pressure. And good job, though, by Lamar cornerbacks covering up those receivers and forcing him to make the run. They spotted at the 16, so second and three for the Vandals coming up. They lead it 7-0. Five and a half left here in the first quarter. Cardinals getting some pressure, so that's a positive right here early on for the Cardinals. McCoy hands it off straight up the middle. Hard, tough run by Woods. Nice call. Just a draw right up the middle. Take advantage of everybody expecting to go out wide. Good for the first down. They spotted at the nine, so first and goal for the Vandals. Little hurry up there. McCoy hands off. Nice, clear corner. Outside touchdown, Woods. Vandals tack on another. Woods on the carry. Very smart play calling. You set the you set trips out to the left, three wide receivers to the left, and you go the opposite direction. And all he's got to do, Woods has got to do, is clear the corner, and he's into the end zone. Cardinal defense on their heels early here as the Vandals open up a 13-0 lead and with the PIT to come. Ricardo Chavez, the kicker, 48 for 48 on PATs last season. Chavez. Two for two tonight, and the Vandals up their lead to 14 nothing. We'll see what the Lamar offense can do when we come back. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch. Butterfingers. Just like my Nana. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. It's everywhere. Every corner of the city. Blue is the color of summer. The color of champions. It's made in New York confident, tenacious, a chance at greatness. A new era of tennis is here, and if you haven't felt the power of blue yet, you're about to. The U.S. Open continues through September 10th on ESPN. 
Nice crowd on hand for this season opener for the Lamar Cardinals. It is a whiteout here at Provost Humphrey Stadium. Fans decked out in white to get this season underway. Yeah, one of a number of promotions that they'll have going on through the course of the season. And the Vandals kick it off. Harris back to receive. He'll take it at the four. Number two, getting ahead of steam. And he'll pull his way past the 25, about the 26-yard line. So Cardinals didn't do much on their first possession. They really need to do something the worst way now. Yeah, you can't have multiple three and outs, that's for sure, to start the game. You've got to at least prove that you can move the ball on the Vandals' defense for nothing else, just your own self-confidence. You got a lot of a lot of guys that are playing in their first game uh, for Lamar too. A lot of transfers up front, and you got Robert Coleman, the quarterback. And Coleman, very first game for him as well. So they got they got trips to the left. Griffin in the backfield with Coleman, and they're gonna hand it off. Nope, it's gonna be Coleman on the keeper. A little bit of room on that outside there, and he'll bust it up close to a first down. I think you know upstairs they know that they're smothering them. Uh, you know, you're going to just give it to the to Griffin every time. So let's fake to Griffin, quarterback option out to the other side, and see how much that works. And Coleman's a pretty stocky guy, six foot one ninety. So I mean, I think he can take a little bit of the pressure. And he got some quickness there. He showed it right there. First and ten on the 41 for the Cardinals. Griffin switches over. Coleman looking to pass, a slant one there, so he'll throw it out to Griffin in the flat. Griffin with a nice move, and then he's hammered, but he's picked up a few. Yeah, good play there by Vandal's defense not to give up and to come back and make sure they bring him down before he makes any big game. I think that was number 44 coming in and making the tackle on that one. Let's see. Here we James Newby Keyshaw. Keyshaw. Right yep, there, him. Yep, comes over and makes the tackle. So we got a second and seven for the Cardinals. Coleman going to hand it off to Griffin up the middle. And there's what you're talking about, Dan. They stacked it up. Yeah, just going <laughs> right up. And, you know, call it what you want. You can give it a lot of different names. Some people call that the A-hole, the slot, the one hole, whatever you want to call it, the blast, the dive. You're just trying to get ground, you know, grind it out up the middle. But again, I don't know. Idaho knows where it's going. They got some some real beef up front. They got big boys up I'm there. I'm telling you, 250, 330, 265. You got Jakari Lamar, Lemon, uh, 6'2", 330, right yep. in the middle. Coleman, he's going to go down. Yep. Might have backwards. lost the ball. They're jumping around on it. Yeah, he did lose the ball. Lamar got, got back on it, though. That's going to bring up a fourth down in the punting unit coming on. Yeah, they got lucky that time and actually covered their own fumble. Big number 71, Javel Roberson got on it for the Cardinals, so they keep possession, but they're going to have to punt it away, so DeLeon comes on. At least they got a first down, showed a little bit of life. Now it's up to their defense to somehow slow down the Vandals' attack. Late arrival on the field here. And they didn't get it off. Yeah, didn't get it done in time. You know, we talked about that. You, you know, first game, it's just something you tend to see of the mistakes. Oh, I forgot I'm on the kicking team. Or, or is it the punt unit that's going out? Because you're involved in conversation over on the sideline or you're talking to a coach or you're talking to your teammates. I don't know how the Lamar does it, but. I remember when I was in high school, as soon as it, it seemed like as soon as it got to second and long, somebody was yelling, punt team, get ready. Right. <laughs> so but, yeah, the, it, it does happen. And, again, it's what, what we're talking about, one of those uh, needless penalties that you don't want to pile on. Here's uh, Pete Rosamondo. Too many people on the field. So, apparently, the player who ran on wasn't even supposed to be out there. Or somebody was out there. What? Somebody besides him. I'm not going to blame him. But. Fourth down. Fourth down. Referee was definitely counting as he came running on. So they're going to tack on five more. And DeLeon's just going to have to kick it a little harder. Yeah, I don't think it hurts him a whole lot, to be honest with you. Five yards. So Jackson, number one, is back to receive the punt. DeLeon, as I said earlier, averaged 41 yards of punt last season. He's got a good leg. 
There's a nice tight spiral, and Jackson's going to call for the fair catch. Really nice punt that time. I mean, he got it off, and he angled it away from him this time. Instead of going down the middle, he kind of kicked it towards the sideline. Gave his punt unit time to get down and cover. All right, so here come the Vandals. Third possession of the game, the first two possessions, touchdown and touchdown. And not a lot of resistance from the Cardinals' defense. Personal foul helped the Vandals on that second possession. I guarantee a lot of conversation going on when you're not on the field about what do we have to do, what kind of adjustments can we make here against this tough Vandals team. First and 10 from the 24. Giovanni McCoy, number four. Nick Romano, Nick Romano on the play. And handoff up the middle. And picking his way for a nice gain. So the Vandals, you know, it's heavy on the pass for McCoy, but they're mixing in the runs too. Yeah. Well, you know, and this time they went to Nick Romano. You know, we talked about Anthony Woods kind of being their go-to back, but Nick Romano, the junior, can also get it done up the middle when you need a couple of yards. And he got four, so second and six for the Vandals. McCoy, seven of seven. Wow, passing so far. And he'll go put it back up again. Flushed out a little bit. There's a throw. And incomplete. We'll call that the announcer's jinx. He's seven for eight. Well, okay, blame him on me. <laughs> Cardinals will take it. I'll take it. So, once again, a little bit of positive for the Cardinals. They're getting some pressure. Yeah, I mean, and, and I think, again, it takes an adjustment, that little bit of time to get used game ready, game conditions, uh, especially, I don't know, whether you're playing offense or defense. It didn't, it didn't take Idaho very long to get into game shape, though, on offense. That was pretty impressive. And the heat is not a factor tonight. Well, you know, the so heat far. doesn't bother you if you're ahead. You know what? You're, you're you so know, you get a couple of touchdowns up and you don't feel it nearly as much because then you're, you're free, free to rotate. You're free to move some other players in. McCoy outside and incomplete. Nice play over there. Really was. On the sideline. Kind of a one on one there. Good play oh, by that is number 16 Cody Mar for Lamar. Yeah, Cody Martin, transfer from UAB. Got a hand in there. That's that's the kind of plays they're going to need. So they, they're forcing Idaho to punt. I started to say, and for the first time tonight, Idaho doesn't end a drive with a touchdown. In the end zone. So, yeah, great play there by Martin. And the, the Vandals are going to punt it away. Chavez. Short punt. I think it went off the back of one of the Idaho players out of bounds, but they're going to let it roll out. Looks like he spotted it at a 36-yard line. So Lamar with some pretty good field position here to get their third possession going. And, and when you've given up two touchdowns to be able to get a stop, that boosts the confidence, no doubt about it. I mean, it's like, okay, you know, we let, we've caught our breath. We kind of let, let's see what we can do on offense now. Pick up a couple of first downs. You don't have to go for the home run. You don't have to, you know, go deep immediately, but at least try to establish something that gets you a couple of yards to start. Robert Coleman, transfer. Quarterback for the Cardinals. Fakes it, looking deep. He's going to air it out. Down the field. And incomplete. Wow, he Coleman had his guy. Good coverage yeah, over, that time. But I mean, Ray. He yeah. did, yeah. Sevon Ray has got a good break down the field, but that was excellent coverage by number 14 for Idaho. All right, so second and 10 now for the Cardinals. Uh, you know, I actually like that play. <laughs> you know, why not? You know, let's, let's see what we can stretch here. Put you in a situation now, though, second and ten. you got to make up some brown pretty quick. Uh, end around to down. Harris, and he'll get a tough three yards. Good pursuit down the line by Idaho. Just kept pushing it out. 
till everybody caught up with the play. So that's going to bring up a third and eight now for the Cardinals. Looks like we have an end of the quarter here. So our score, 14 nothing, Idaho with the lead. Cardinals with a third and eight when we come back. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy, just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense, we make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the same. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. Become an auntie, book a flight. Stay four nights. Meet the baby. Make the baby cry. Give the baby back. Fly home. Silver tier in a single trip. Join one key and move up tiers fast. Israel Adesanya, he is the best middleweight on planet Earth. Sean Strickland! I want the title. Let's do this. I said wait. Idaho leads Lamar 14-0 as we start the second quarter here in Beaumont, Texas. Bob Slovak, Dan Gresham bringing you the action tonight. We'll see what the Cardinals can do. Coleman over the middle, and that one is complete for a short gain. More importantly than anything, it's complete. <laughs> there you go. You know, I mean, giving him a little bit of confidence to go across the middle, get in front of the linebackers. Not going to be enough, though, for the first down. Not enough there. Gibbs hauled it in, the tight end, but short of the sticks, and so the Cardinals are going to have to punt it away again. In comes Daly on. Try to give the Cardinals defense a little bit of room. Jackson is back to receive for Idaho. DeLeon puts it up. This is a good kick. Forcing Jackson inside the 10. He dropped it, and he'll go down at a three-yard line. Wow, dangerous, right? First I mean, miscue. that was almost a big play for Lamar. But once again, DeLeon is a weapon. He really is, because, and especially now they turn the other direction, the wind's at his back. So when he launched that punt, he really turned it over. The spiral got up there and just hung. And, but Jackson made a great catch. And I think it, then he starts to, you know, like all you know, returners, 
I would think. I've never been one, but I'd have to think you hear the footsteps, you know. He was kind of – I think kinda, that's why he dropped it because he looked down to see where they were. Exactly. He's trying to plot where am I going, you know, take a look up the field. And I think that uh, – where the drop, but fortunate for Idaho, they recover. But now they're going to have to work in some deep territory. They marked it at the four, so first and ten for the Vandals. McCoy going to hand it off to Woods. Almost oh. taken down, and it, he stays on his feet and gets out to the eight-yard line. Great footwork that time by Woods. I mean, he's hit at the line twice. of scrimmage twice, but they're all shoelaces, and he just pulls his foot away and winds up getting them out of that deep hole. So they got four. Here's another look at it. Yeah, should have been down there. Should have been down one again. right there, too, yeah, that finally he is brought down. Nice run by Anthony Woods. He's in the backfield again with McCoy. Second and six. They'll hand it to him again. A little juke move gets to the 10, and then the Lamar Who's defense is all over him. That one didn't develop quite as fast. And, it, you know, you, when you watch it, especially when you're watching it from behind, you can see the idea behind the play is to give Woods the option to find the hole that's open. And that time, Lamar up front, Joshua Landrum, did a good job just kind of compressing in, and there really wasn't any place to go. So third and four here. Cardinals trying to force a punt. Vandals trying to get out of a deep hole here. Keep an eye on number 80. Romano in the backfield with McCoy. He'll look to throw. Slant pattern is connect, connected for the first down. That was some tight coverage, but a nice throw by McCoy. I think that just speaks to the confidence that Giovanni McCoy has. You know, that he can find his guy and doesn't worry that it's one-on-one -on -one tight coverage and just puts it right on the spot. Trainer hauls it in. It's a good catch by Trainer. Gives the Vandals the first down as they get out of a deep hole. Ball spotted at the 19. Woods back in at running back. Fake to Woods. McCoy looking. And now he's going to keep it himself. Finds a seam, and then he's going to run and run and run all the way down to 45. What a smart play, though, by McCoy. I mean, he looked up. He looked to at least two different, you know, alternate receivers. Nobody's open, but he sees a huge hole, and he takes advantage of it. And we could see it perfectly from our vantage We could. And, but, you know, the thing, too, is Giovanni McCoy, he has that kind of speed that he can hurt you. There you see it right there, just galloping down the field. So they mark it at the 46, first and 10 for Idaho. And that, that's got to be gas in the Lamar defense. Oh, I, yeah. When you start at <laughs> their three, and now you have to, you know, you're trying to just make a stop. Swings it out. Hatton hauls it in. He got close to a first down. Runs into the coverage and then a little overplayed by Lamar. Hatton with another reception. So they'll mark it at the 43. Idaho back into Lamar territory. Here's another look at it. How many is hat? How many is hatting up to now? Five or six? Caught 83 last year. He's got five catches to this point. All right, five catches. McCoy looking, looking. Here comes some pressure. He's going to run, scramble straight ahead. Giovanni McCoy on the carry. Pretty good coverage there. Big number 99, Caleb Williams. Yep, junior out of Houston. Made a good play, stayed at home, and when he stepped up out of the pocket, McCoy, Williams was there to bring him down. Williams out of Cy Creek High School over in Houston. Balls on the 36. You know, we, we were going to talk about uh, Coach Ross Mondo. He's doing a good job in making connections with these Texas high school coaches. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things he talked about when he first came here, that he, he had to hit the ground running, and he had to find some people that had local knowledge because he wanted to recruit Texas which, you know, coming from Charlotte's not an easy thing to do. Handoff up the middle. 
Is that Romano? Woods on the carry. Woods on the carry. Nope, that's Woods. No, that's Woods Anthony good, Woods, yeah, yeah, coming up off the bottom. It's going to be enough for the first down, huh? That's good for another Vandals first down. Yeah, they are Vandals moving down the field again. Remember, this this drive started at the yeah. four-yard line. First and 10 on the Cardinals, 28. Look over on the sideline. We talked about how important it's going to be for both of these teams to stay hydrated. And you can tell over on the Idaho side, they're really making it a point when people come off to hand them a bottle. Make sure they're getting that water and, and the electrolytes. Hand woods off the, the woods carry. again, straight up the middle. Not a lot there. You see Williams again, number 99, a couple of his teammates. <clears throat> Tackle by Kevin Anderson. Yeah, the one thing about this area, and we know it from Texas high school football, not everybody's going to go to the big schools, the big 12 schools, Texas, Texas A&M. There's a lot of talent out there. You can fill your roster up for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. You mean the number of players available. Yeah. yeah. You're right about that. So second and nine after a very short gain. Ball marked at the 27-yard line of Lamar. McCoy looking over the middle, wide open, and Jackson takes it down inside the 10. What a, what a great look for McCoy. I mean, he just took his time, wasn't panicked in the pocket, and just waited for the play to develop. And then he saw Ivy break open and, you know, just hit him right in the numbers. All right, so quick tempo here, first and goal from the eight-yard line. And Romano gets a few. Good play that time coming up by Faulkner, the linebacker, number 17 for Lamar. Second and goal coming up. Just trying to get everything going one direction. Oh, this is the previous pass. That's why I talked. Split the seam yeah. in the coverage. And then McCoy just did what he does. All right, second and goal. Woods in the backfield. McCoy hands it off, and that's going to be an easy waltz into the end zone for another Idaho touchdown. Second by Woods. I think it literally was a waltz that time. <laughs> Idaho flexing their muscles early here. Yeah, it's that same thing that we were talking about earlier. Once he finds the corner, there was nobody there. Watch this. He gets outside and really just kind of stretches his legs a little bit and walks it into the end zone. Cameron Pope into the Samuel Scaife, he was the defender there, but no yeah, chance of catching him. by the time he yeah. got there. No chance. 97 yards. I think officially, will, is it 97 or 96? What do they call it? Um, uh, I believe it was spotted at the four. We'll double check well, that. We'll double we check back. on that. See. All right, so Idaho continues to tack on more points here. We'll take a break and be right back. James Perkins on the block. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. The right way to sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Hey, future engineer. It's time to choose a university. You want to attend the university whose engineering graduates ranked number one in Texas for highest return on investment and has the best value engineering bachelor's degree in the Southwest region. That's Lamar University. Lamar University ranks in the top 10 best public universities and among the most diverse universities in the state of Texas. Your moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. Apply today at lamar.edu. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your order fresh, right in front of you. And let me tell you, watching that can send a rush of emotions through a person. Excitement, impatience, baby-like wonder, indecisive, anticipatory chewing, nervous pacing, happy claps, and finally, jealousy. Because that's this guy's sub. I should order one. 
Good idea. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Have you noticed that banking is this big corporate thing? To these mega banks, you're just an account number. And no one seems to even notice you're so wrapped up in other things? Well, snap out of it! There's a movement to take back control, to take back financial freedom, to take back banking. Kasasa is checking that rewards you for doing everyday things that you're already doing anyway. So join the movement. Take back banking with Kasasa. Get Kasasa checking at MCT Credit Union. Alaho leads it 20 to nothing. We're looking for some positives from Lamar. Their special teams making some plays. They blocked the extra point. First extra point missed by the Idaho kicker in two years. Yep. Ricardo Chavez, he was perfect last year. And, and that may be where you have to go to get the positive because that is the result of 96-yard drive and 11 plays. Big time stuff by Idaho here in the early part of this game, 725 left in the second quarter. So what can the Cardinals do? I mean, the defense has to find a way to get off the field, but they got to get some help yeah, from the offense. I was going to say, the problem is not – all on the defense, not being able to stop Idaho. Part of that problem, too, is they've been on the field the entire first half. So other than one, uh, you know, series of plays that it wasn't three and out, your offense has got to give you some help as well. And then the defense, you've got to come to the sideline and you've got to start breaking things down and see where the problem is. Coleman at quarterback. And he's going to hand it off straight up the middle. There's a big scrum and maybe a gain of three. You know, and Idaho has been talked about, you know, preseason is kind of becoming almost one of the elites in the FCS. You know, that you're getting into the top tens, you know, where you're playing on that level. And I think if you give them 20 points in the first half, yeah, look out in the second because they're that kind of team. They're going to feed off that energy. So the Cardinals run two straight dives here to get this drive going and pick up a total of six yards so far. So. They've got to find a way to open things up a little, diversify a little bit. Robert Coleman, the transfer from Mount San Jacinto College out in California. This is a huge step up for him, but Coach Rosamondo said he, he, he had a feeling he was going to go with him. He's going to stick it out with him. A little roll, a little pass, and that's a nice touch there close to that first down. It really was. He just rolled to his left, and he looked up and found his intended receiver that time. Griffin. And uh, out of the backfield, Griffith, who again. We'll see what they mark yeah, it, how so they mark this. Um, convoy for the referees right now. I was going to say, there were conversations going on there. You see the. Referees are huddled up there together, so I'm curious if it's going to be some kind of an offensive penalty against Lamar. Although with all the Lamar players standing there, it kind of gives you the feeling that maybe they're going to step it off against Idaho. There are fouls on both teams. Offsides, number 36 defense. Pass interference, number one offense. Yep. Those fouls offset. Replay, third down. And he's offsetting. So – Third and like two on the 29 on the after offsetting penalty. Penalty against the Cardinals as well. So let's do it all again. Got the ball marked at the 29 right now. They're still talking it over. 20 to nothing is our score. All Idaho so far as we open up the 2023 season. Pete Rosamondo, new head coach of the Lamar Cardinals. There you see coach on the sidelines, walking the sidelines. Again, Coach Rosamondo got into Beaumont in December, as we mentioned earlier. He is the 11th head coach of the program, going all the way back to 1951. But he didn't come into this from a head job. He came yeah. into this. He was coaching in Charlotte. Offensive line coach. He was offensive line coach. Then he was at Rutgers before that, Central Connecticut State, and also at the University of New Haven where he turned that program around. So third and two for the Cardinals, and it's going to be a timeout. It's going to be a timeout. You know, the thing that got him some note 
Yeah, we're going to go to break. We'll talk more about uh, Coach Ross Amondo when we come back. But it's a huge play coming up for the Cardinals, a third and two when we come Lamar back. Lamar has called a timeout to challenge that the With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch, butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Pano AI chooses T-Mobile for business for 5G solutions. Because T-Mobile helps Pano AI innovate so they can stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Become an auntie, book a flight, stay four nights, meet the baby, make the baby cry, give the baby back, fly home. Silver tier in a single trip, join one key and move up tiers fast. Oh man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working too. Back live in Beaumont, Texas, Bob Slovak, Dan Gresham bringing you the action. Idaho leading this game 20 to nothing. They've done just about everything they've wanted to do. It is third and two now for the Cardinals as they try to keep this play alive. Official review on pass interference. They yeah, lost they, the Yeah, they, they challenged the call. They did not win the challenge, so lose a timeout. Looks like we're finally ready to go here. Coleman at quarterback for the Cardinals. Got Griffin in the backfield with him, third and two. Oh, a little shovel pass to Griffin and Coleman gets the first down. Okay, I like that play. Well, I tell you what, Griffin, we saw it last year. Griffin has the feet. He can. He really does. He moves well in a crowd. Tackle by Marcus Harris. That time, uh, That's you know, good. because they did something different, he was able to pick up some significant yards. First team all Southland preseason. First Griffin. and 10 on the 35. Living up to it on that play here. First and 10 for the Cardinals now. Spotted at the 38. Going to hand it off to him Griffin again. Short game. You know, he started at Rice. He did. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, the thing is, yes, yeah. Again, it can't be the only offense, though. It can't be that one Second dimension because Golden. now everybody, every linebacker is keying on him. You know, watching to see where he's going. Second and nine on a 39. And, and Coleman has not really accomplished much through the air. He's three of five. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Ray, somebody's got to get open. Somebody has got to get open for, for Coleman. And he'll hand it off again. Three yards and a cloud, <laughs> cloud of, of dust. dust. But there's no <laughs> dust with artificial turf. But, but it's what we were talking about, the short game. Right, on you're carry. playing in the box now. Brings up a Cardinals third down. Third and six. That's on asking a lot if you're running back. You well, got to be pretty durable to take that hit after hit. You know, may you know you said this earlier. I mean, it's it's like playing small ball, but maybe he's just trying to you know hang on to possession right now. Well, I think I think you know, yeah, he's just trying to find something. They're trying to find any kind of offense. Third and six from the 42. Coleman with a quick pass outside. It is complete. Should be good for a first down. Looks like it will be. Yeah, just kind of yeah, swung it out to Devin Gibbs. Uh, Gibbs. That's yeah, good Devin for Gibbs Cardinals. With the first down. 
from Maybank. First to 10 on the 49 yard line. 217 tied in. 341 left. So you know where Maybank is, don't you? It's just south of Dallas. Used to play uh, a peewee, peewee football team from Maybank. Maybank. <laughs> All right, so they get the first down. Big play by the Cardinals. Gibbs hauling it in. So first and 10 now from the 49. Coleman looking outside and incomplete out of the reach of his receiver streaking across there. Coleman feeling a little pressure yes. from the backside that time when he made the throw. Lamar just trying to generate a little bit of offense here before the half is Dennis over. Yeah, Andre Dennis, the intended receiver from Westbrook High School here in Beaumont. Second down. So that's going to bring up a second, second and, and ten, 10 on the 49. Need to get some positive yards here on second and ten. Coleman. Swinging to the left, makes the throw square to shoulders. It's complete. Coleman's pass few extra complete. Yards like there. Play. Picking him up is Kendon Fuseler, number eight from yeah. Nederland. Trey Thomas coming in to make that tackle right at the 40-yard line. So that's this is the most offense we've seen, <laughs> or most production from the offense. Field, but of number course, number 74 offense, five yards into the previous spot. And it looks like an eligible receiver downfield. Is going to be the call on this one. Going to wipe out Please that catch. The game clock yeah. to 259. 259. Yeah, they the they, you're looking at the tackle. Two I think he may have the game clock. been caught there. Spoke too soon. They're going to back him up, but it'll be second and 10. A little bit of life for the Cardinals here. We're late in the second quarter. Just under three minutes to go. 20 to nothing, Idaho. They've controlled this one. Coleman, he'll swing it out, complete. Broken tackle. Oh, nice Coleman's little run. Yeah, that's nice Griffin, run. Griffin with his quick feet again. Dan. And again, if you can't, if, you know, okay, so I can't run Griffin up the middle all the time. Let's swing him out in the flat. Let's get him some room well, out there where he can tackle. maybe make some moves. And that time he, he shows how good he is in Here's open field. Cardinal third down. All right, they get back in. No huddle offense here, right? Yeah, let's go. They're back into Idaho territory. Third and eight on the 49-yard Third and the eight. Panels. They got them spread out here. Looks like Coleman wants a timeout. And timeout. Time out. Second charge of the half. So with, also, so with 2.28 to go here in the timeout. second quarter, timeout. Lamar with facing a third and eight when we come back. I'm a regular guy, not some celebrity endorser. You see, instead of paying Lamar. for some big name spokesperson to hype the same old run of the mill account, Casasa Checking gives that money directly back to you in the form of cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Ask for free Casasa Checking at MCT Credit Union. Hey, future healthcare professional, it's time to choose a university. How about one that offers programs in health and kinesiology, nursing, pre-med, and public health, and is ranked best value psychology master's degree schools in the Southwest region? That's Lamar University. Lamar University ranks in the top 10 best public universities and among the most diverse universities in the state of Texas. Your moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. Apply today at lamar.edu. Every superhero has an origin story. We all got our start somewhere. For us, it was the U.S. Air Force. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. 
a proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All back with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back live in Beaumont, Texas. Huge play coming up for the Lamar Cardinals. Third and eight from the 49-yard line of Idaho. Coleman's going to roll to his right. Looking. Looking. Going to run it. Oh, then he throws one as he jumps out of bounds. It's incomplete. I'm thinking to see did he step out of bounds. Well, first. no, I think well, I think when he threw the pass, he was actually in the air, so he had not touched out of bounds. So the pass, I think, would have Fourth probably down, counted had it been a completion, but unfortunately it comes up short of the first down. So incomplete, and the punting unit comes on. Here's another look at it. Let's watch it, and you'll see right when he's he realizes he's not going to be able to get the first down. Oh, he stepped I, out. I, he's, I thought yeah. he did. But, I mean, it, as far as technically, right, yeah, if he throws point. it, he's in the air before touching the ground. Well, they didn't review it. De Leon boots it away. Jackson gets away from it, takes a sideways bounce, and how about that? De Leon down, down, the ten yard down to line. the – spotted at the 10-yard line. So, we'll take a quick break. 150 left here in the first half. Idaho in control All 20 to nothing. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch, butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Book a work trip. Earn one key cash. Shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip. Use one key cash. Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. It's everywhere, every corner of the city. Blue is the color of summer, the color of champions. It's made in New York confident, tenacious, a chance at greatness. A new era of tennis is here. And if you haven't felt the power of blue yet, you're about to. The U.S. Open continues through September 10th on ESPN. Lamar Deepin's going to look to make a stand here with 150 to go in this game. Their offense, you know, as they say, Dan, halftime is for adjustments. They got a lot of adjustments well, to they make. They do. I mean, this is an offense that struggled and sputtered from the beginning. They have three first downs this half. Idaho, meanwhile, 11 to go along with that 20-point total. Number four, Giovanni McCoy going to look to pass on first down. Oh, heavy pressure. Is that going to be a safety? What's the call? The quarterback was sacked short of the goal line. Second They're going to mark him at the one. He was. He looked like he was hit at the one. Yeah, it was his forward motion is the question, I guess. But big play that oh, time. Huge play. Big play. Was up that front. Jackson? Down, yeah, down. it was. Jamon Jackson, the junior out of Lindell. What up? This is the biggest play for Lamar all game. Look at that. He sheds the blocker. I would have gave him the safety. Well, it sure looks like it. Look at his forward. His foot is barely inside the field. Man, and he's throwing the back. Ball. So, I, I, I yeah. Where the ball's at? So, they mark it at the one. They gave him a real a liberal real spot good mark. there. Yeah. All right. Handoff up the middle. They're not going to take any chances. Woods breaks it. Still running. Still running. Woods breaks it into the open. He could be gone. 
trying to chase him down. What a run by Anthony Woods. And he's out of bounds. Looks like inside the five-yard line. I think he crossed the goal line Woods with the ball. I don't know. It looked like when he hit the ground, it came out. But it looked like he had already After the score, put it across the goal conduct. line. Number wow, eight. what a run. He looked like he was bottled up and then broke it to the outside. Chris crossed the back around. Look right there. I thought he was oh, I thought down. He was down. Then it's a foot race right here. Look at that move right there. And once he got into the open, you talk about a foot race. Christian Pugh trying to chase him down. Some more help coming up from Grogan. What a run. That's why Anthony, Anthony Woods, Woods is a, was a freshman All-American, and that's why he is also – Getting so much attention this year. Let's see where they mark this. They're yeah, trying to some activity going on, yeah, trying they're... to figure out exactly where they want to mark it. Was there a penalty down well, there? Well, that would be the only way that would be at that position. I mean, because, okay, oh, maybe after, after the fact. Was it a celebration uh, penalty? So unsportsmanlike conduct to see where they're going to mark it. Yeah. Yeah, 15 from the end of the run. So, Hey, if I made a run like that, I'd celebrate too. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and it, maybe it wasn't him. I mean, we didn't see the well, end of it. Somebody might have came on yeah, the field. I say, it, 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 yeah. it could have been somebody other yeah, somebody, than Anthony somebody Woods. Somebody might have came on the field to celebrate. That but just they, was an unsportsmanlike call. Yeah, they back it up to the 20-yard line. But what a run, first and 10. Giovanni and out of his receiver's reach. Good pressure up front, Williams again. We've called his name a couple of times. Yeah, Cameron George playing a good game up front as well. But the one thing, Lamar, I mean, you you know, if you want to go into halftime, you just, you just want to say, okay, you gave up the big one. Stiffen a little bit here. Make them work for this. And that McCoy yeah. that time just kind of tried to find Hatton, but he threw it too too yeah, far. Him. All right, so second and ten from the twenty. We've got forty seconds to go here in the second quarter. Hatton comes in motion. McCoy looking to the right, back to the left. He'll go to the left, and that's going to be a touchdown, Idaho. Wow, what a great move right there. That's Hatton again. Hatton shows again why he is uh, an All-American. He plants, makes the catch, and then goes the opposite direction. And he just left the defender standing there. We knew he was going to be good, and he's as good as advertising. This season opener for the Vandals. Here's another look at it. And McCoy just waited for him to break yep. open. Turns. Well, he knows where he's going to be. His job is to get the ball on the turn. He does, and then Hatton does the rest. Impressive. So Woods with the long run, and then McCoy to Hatton, the connection once again. And Idaho tacks on another six. They'll look for the extra point. So Hatton now, six catches for 86 yards. Two touchdowns. Looks like they're going for two here. Got to make up for that missed PAT. Yeah, here comes McCoy. And he'll throw it wide open in the end zone for two points. Lots of time to find his man that time. That was Cox, his tight end for two points and a 28 nothing lead, Idaho over Lamar. We still got 33 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Again, Lamar, you think, okay, they've got him trapped. I mean, essentially yeah. the one yard line. <laughs> yes. And before it's over, they've scored another touchdown. What a, what a flip of the script right there. We're, we're talking safety, and then all of a sudden, Woods takes off. 93 yards. Wow. Here's another look at the extra point. So they wanted to get that Yeah, got to make up, make, make up the one they missed. So 28 nothing. What do you think Coach Rosamondo is going to say here at halftime? Oh, well, you know, I, I, I always want to ask him when we're talking. Again, it's your first year, realistic expectations. You're playing the number eight ranked team in the country in FCS. Idaho has all the weapons. They really do. Um, I, I think he will talk about, you know, the, uh, the same thing that you hear every time. Don't give up. You know, that 
you know, we, we have to take something positive away from this. Let's go work. You know, whether we win the game or not, it's about our work ethic. Logan it's about what we take away from Good this job. game. It's about moving forward. This game means nothing as far as Southland Conference standings go. Yep. And that's the only thing that really matters is by the time you get to conference play, you're a better team than you were tonight. A lot of, lot of, lot of gelling uh, to come with this Lamar Cardinal team. They're, they're, they knew they had a, a, ro a rough uh, road to hoe here tonight. So they're, they're taking their lumps. But, hey, this game's not over. Second half to come, we're going to look for some positivity. I, I'd like to see Coleman get a little bit more comfortable. He seems uncomfortable back there. So, Well, I, I think the other side of the coin is what is Jason Eck telling his team? Yeah. Uh, you know, when you go at half, don't take your foot off the gas, exactly. right? Exactly. The Cardinals going to hand it off. Griffin kind of pop, Harris on the carry. piles in there for a couple. I, I know Pete Rosamondo told us both that he did not have the hook, but do you think there's Notice any chance the you go into half and say, okay, and let's try somebody else? You know, uh, Coleman is five of eight for 31 yards passing. Should we think about Coleman looking at something point. else? Yeah, They're the, just going to run this out, obviously. Yeah, they just want to get to the half. Yeah, on the flip side, it's like, you know, there, it's a learning experience. You know, it's, it's not working right now, but he's, you know, every play – Every play you learn something. Sorry, Lamont so, on the tackle. But he told me I'm pretty – I'd be surprised if we see another quarterback in the second half. He, yeah, he kind of uh, he kind of Third intimated down. that that was not his style. A two-quarterback system was not off. something he wanted to run off. or wanted to half work. Is here. Well, Idaho, everything – they were advertised to be Absolutely. the number, number eight team in the FCS. They'll take a 28 nothing lead in the half. We'll, we'll be back. Have the uh, pre-conference standings when we come back. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. On season six of Fansville by Dr. Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, I have a girlfriend and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I've made my choice. This season, I will be drinking Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want to make this? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, I'm at Flurry. It's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you going to order something? There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted with America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Right now, get the Tucson or Santa Fe with up to 2,500 total savings. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Book a work trip, earn one key cash, shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip, use one key cash, Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. 
How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Oh, man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working, too. 28 nothing is our score. There's a great shot of the new scoreboard here at uh, Lamar Stadium. Yeah, this, the video board is unbelievable. I don't know about you driving in. It was like, <laughs> yeah, was you cool. could see it from two miles away. This yeah. thing is 75 feet tall and 35 feet wide. It is state of the art. It is nice. 200% bigger than the video <laughs> board that they had at this stadium. I I'll, mean, it, it, it really is. It's it is. when you see it. It's, it's it's shocking how big it is. Impressive to say the least. They just Lamar fans would like to see the score the other way. Well, they would. They'd we'll, like to see yeah on that video board more highlights yes. of their team, no doubt. A dominant performance by Idaho in this first half, no question. Yeah, we kind of expected that because yeah. Lamar, they knew they were they were in for a tough battle. Twenty eight nothing. Okay, they they got some adjustments to make. It's all about improvements in the second is. half. And and there were a lot of unknowns coming in this. There were a lot of people that have not played together in any other way except for practice. You know, you had a lot of new pieces that they were trying for Lamar to put together. On the other hand, if you're Idaho, it's like we're picking up where we left off. Exactly. Right? We're, we want to continue that second-year evolution for Jason Eck, and they've got to be pretty excited about what they saw in the first half the, because that combination's working. The fans up in the Moscow. Moscow. I said Moscow. Moscow or Idaho. It's Moscow. You know, shout out to the fans yeah. up there. I know you're, you're enjoying this opener here by no, Idaho. No need to send text or anything. <laughs> Moscow. Got yeah. We got it. It's a beautiful country. Oh, we I know yeah, that for Idaho sure. Idaho for sure. We, no we know that for sure. That. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the preseason uh, polls and yeah. where everybody stacks up. And uh, I, I, Lamar picked, I believe, seventh yeah, in the conference. Seventh in the Southland Conference. One other thing I would point out, too, is – you know, we're going through all these conference realignments around the country yeah. now for football, whether you're talking about the big fives or if you're talking about the mids. You're seeing all these changes going on. Look how big the Big Sky Conference has become. <laughs> yeah, I got big. Huh? Didn't it? I mean, it's huge, the number of teams in that conference. And where do you find Idaho? Second, Second. on the list. Yeah. Yeah, so Montana State up at number one. And then Idaho is at number two. Well, you know, right there, you look at the top three, Montana State, Idaho, Montana. That, that, that's a playoffs right there. Oh, yeah. You know, they're, yeah, they're going to be there. Those are playoff teams. There's no doubt about that. Then you come over to the South one, and the dominant team remains the dominant. Southeastern has been the dominant yeah. team, although. Incarnate word. I was going to say, tough. UIW could really give them a run for their money this year. I think McNeese they're going to be is back up. They've got they got third. So. And, again, Lamar, yeah, they're going to be down at seventh. But when you're talking about polling people and you're asking them, they look, they see, brand new coach, yep. got to put in a new system, got to start all over again. And it's tough to move up. You know, And you're never thinking first year. I don't believe that. I really think that a coach, when you come in, you're thinking second year, third yeah. year before you're really going to see it. Like you never you, admit that. When we were talking to Coach Rossomano, Rosamondo, you said yourself, uh, you said culture. You're trying to change the culture, and that doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, and he sa I said uh, wholesale change of the culture, and he said exactly. He said this is, this is not little by little of one piece. We're changing everything in this program. You know what he said? He said it like a coach that I would love to play for. He said the players that didn't buy in, they're long gone. Yeah. True enough. I love that. True I love enough. that. But and, and again, we have seen a couple of things that would make you believe that, you know, he, he's a guy that's not here for a flash. He's not here for the moment. He's making those connections inside this community. And it's like you said, he's trying to reach out and start getting the recruiting uh, to be something that, again, next year, the year after, 
that's when you bear the fruit. I noticed uh, he's got a couple of North Shore players, young players oh, yeah. on his team. You, you yeah. get a couple of North Shore Mustangs, you're getting the right players. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right well, now. Well, of course, they have that pedigree of coming <laughs> yes. from a program that knows how to win championships. Yeah, right? so, uh, yeah, it's going to be hey, it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun. It, you know, it's going to be baby steps, Let, Let's hope steps it gets more fun in the second half for Lamar. Well, fans. anything, you know, like, you know, I'm sure they're making adjustments and, you know, Three yards in a cloud of dust doesn't work the whole time. You're going to have to have to do it. All right, we'll be right back right after this. More halftime show when we return. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it. And to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. And uh, last but not least, the wonderful crew at McDonald's. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Are you going to order something? We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Fly to Paris, see the tower, smaller than you expected. Wait in line, see the Mona Lisa, smaller than you expected. Check in, see your room, bigger than you expected. Join One Key, where gold and platinum members get travel perks like room upgrades. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. Israel Adesanya, he is the best middleweight on planet Earth. Sean Strickland! I want the title. Let's do this. I say wait. Back live in Beaumont, Texas, where the Idaho Vandals lead the Lamar Cardinals 28 to nothing. Opening night here of the 2023 season. Bob Slovak and Dan Gresham bringing you the action. And Dan, you know, we've, we, we've seen a little bit of everything, I think. Not enough yeah, Lamar positivity. Are you talking about personally or are you talking about <laughs> in the football game? Well, I mean, I'm talking about a couple of those plays <laughs> by the Vandals, man. Unbelievable runs. And, and uh, of course, the passing game by McCoy has been everything it advertised. I agree with you on that. It really has. It's lived up to expectations. Uh, I think it's interesting. We've talked about these two coaches. You, you have uh, Jason Eck with Idaho, who's in his second year, and then you have Pete Rosamondo, who's in his first year. And and we talked about, you know, Rosamondo coming in in December and trying to establish relationships within the community. 
And I think that's the same can be said for Jason Eck. I mean, and he has done it in a very unique way. I've been around a lot of football teams. I've played on a number yeah. of football teams, but I never remember playing, even in high school when you yeah. were kids, that you have five sets of brothers on the team, on the same team, yeah. and two of them are twins, twins. two sets of twins. And we've, we've talked a lot about Hayden uh, Hatton, but his twin brother, Hogan, who's the long snapper, yeah. He's, he's right there with him. They're both preseason All-Americans. Have you ever seen that? I mean, you covered a lot of sports. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that many brothers or sets of I, brothers. I, real quick, I'll tell you the story. This is amazing right here. But I, I did a story one time over in at Cinco Ranch in Katy over in the Houston area. And I went out to talk about these the, the, the Keaty brothers. They went on to play at Utah. They were twins. And I go out to the head coach and I go, hey, he goes, you want me to get the twins for you? And I go, yeah, bring them out. And he goes, all of them? I go, what do you mean? He goes, they had five sets of twins. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, was, okay, that might have up. I know there. But no, but, but that's still. cool. Having your brother play, being able to play with your brother is pretty well, cool. Well, I think it's one thing to do it when you're playing Pee Wee League or when you're yeah. playing even in high school. But to be playing at the D1 level. Yes. And your brother's playing with you. It can be good and bad. Yeah. Good because you want to play with your brother. Bad because they may call home and tell mom <laughs> something you did, you know, or something like that. But And the other one being that uh, this is the only team in FCS, and I think one of only three in all of college football that has two 1,000-yard receivers. Coming back, Hayden Hatton and uh, Jermaine Jackson. Right. And then Hatton and McCoy, named to the Walter Payton Award. Watch this. That is the small school Heisman. It is. That so. is the Heisman for, for mids. You're right. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. And, again, we've got some more to talk about. We'll uh, check on the stats, get you a look at some of the numbers. Again, Idaho up 28-zip here at the end of the first half. Jason's hometown grown. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What's your order? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royale with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your mango mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's tropic time. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light duty pickup. I used to watch the Heisman House every year on TV. And I'd always wonder, is it real? It's very real. Take a little bit more up the top. Now that I've been here a while, it's a lot like campus. We have roommates. Hey, Caleb, just try and keep it down. It's nap time. Of course, there's a gym. Ten. All right, people, here we go. Looking good, RG3. No, you're looking good, RG3. Yeah, so it's a lot you need like. Room, rookie. We're doing a ticky top. Bam, bam. Just bam, like bam. campus. Wait, wait. How do plastic bottles turn into this? See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Fantastic checkout. 
Superb racing. Yes, guys. All right, 28 nothing is our score. Idaho over Lamar here as we get set to start the second half. Team's coming back out, but we've got the highlights to take a look at, and it, uh, it is all Idaho highlights, no doubt about that. And that first series kind of set the tone, Dan. It was a lot of McCoy to Hatton to get it going for the Vandals. Yeah, absolutely. McCoy, for the half, winds up going 11 of 14 for 128 yards, two touchdowns, long of 29. He only got sacked one time. And he, and he finds his favorite receiver the majority of the time, but he also doesn't hesitate looking elsewhere. Yeah, they found Jackson, Jackson. Right, you know, Jackson yeah. right there. And they're back to Hatton for the touchdown. What a nice catch. What a nice throw. He had to get it in under coverage in the slide in the end zone. Here's Jackson the catch. on the punt return here, uh, making it happen, showing some speed. And really, the Vandals got set up in some good field position. Plus, but the, then they took it 96 yards. Well, yeah. So. Well, and then, of course, uh, you know, Woods with a 93-yard scamper. I'm sure that's coming up here shortly. Hatton, six catches, 86 yards for two touchdowns. He's averaging 14 yards a catch in the first half. We we'll mentioned Jackson there. Yeah, Jackson had two catches for 23 yards. So, Woods, is, does Woods have three? He has at least two touchdowns. Woods, uh, 12, uh, 12 carries, 136 yards, two touchdowns, and a long of 93. Yes, there you and go. And there it is. There's, that's McCoy. But that, 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 yeah, that but the next scramble. one coming up. So, yeah, we, we talked about McCoy. He's got the nice touch, but, man, when he sees an opening, he'll take it. I mean, he has. Yeah, it's been tough sledding for Lamar's defense in the first half. It's like, yeah, okay, if we seal it up front, then they find the outside, and if we try to cover the outside, then – Something like this happens. Yeah, he that was just an exceptional run. It was because he broke a couple of tackles there at the, the line of scrimmage and then took off to the races there and down to the five, and then they, they eventually put it in. So but you know what? you got to give credit to uh, Kendon Grogan. He did catch up to him. Yeah, he did. And brought him down from behind. All right, 28 nothing is our score. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from... All right, back for the second half now. Idaho with the 28-0 lead over Lamar on what turned out to be, I wouldn't say a pleasant night, because it is still hot, but, you know. But, but you know, a comfortable night. A comfortable summer night a here in Beaumont. So, yeah. a nice crowd out here for the season opener for Lamar. I think the temperature is a lot easier to take when you're up 28 to <laughs> yeah. nothing. So probably true. not even a, probably not even feeling it right now. So the Cardinals will get the ball first here to start the second half, and we'll see what kind of adjustments they made. Robert Coleman, the transfer, Logan Prescott, Prescott kicking getting off the, the call to start at quarterback, and a returnable kick by Harris. Here he comes, taking it to the sideline. Almost back to the 20-yard line, so that's where the Cardinals are going to take off here to start the second half. I can't imagine any wholesale changes on the in the offensive lineup for Pete Rosamondo at this time. We'll see. We've got a, you, you, you were surprised that Griffin only had six carries. I was. It, did seem I, like he it, ran it seems more. like he got the ball almost every every possession, almost every carry, but that's what they have him for. Robert Coleman. Be curious to see if Will Fleming, the offensive coordinator, made any real adjustments. I'm sure he did at half. First and 10 from the 18. Coleman on the keeper. Coleman on the keeper. And not a lot there. He might have yeah. lost a yard. Great play Except on the uh, defensive Williams. ends there. They just, you know, knew what was coming, stood their ground, kind of turned to play back inside, and everybody caught up. 
No gain, no second gain, and ten. Second and ten. Swarming Vandals. He, they are definitely swarming. Second and nine now from the 19. They actually gave him a yard. Let's see if get something going here. Coleman looking. Quick pass and complete. Coleman's pass. Hauled in by George. Complete. Yeah, Cameron there's Cameron George. George. Quick story about Cameron. I was talking to Dan earlier. Tackled by Tommy McCormick. He played in my peewee football system. He was 12 years old when I took over as the president of the New Territory down. Knights. He was the best 12-year-old in the league. <laughs> and here he is playing for Lamar now. Yeah. Uh, and, and, again, uh, showing himself tonight, you know, to some of the talents he does have. So there, there's a – he didn't play. I don't think he was in the first half. He might have been in a couple of plays, but that's he his first catch. He did play some in the first half. That's his first catch. Here's Coleman scrambling out, looking for some room. Trying to get to the outside and out of bounds. Well, the keeper runs out of bounds. I wonder if part of the conversation at the We're half was, play. let's make quick looks. And if you don't see it, let's try to turn it into something. You know, and even if it means. I did. I was wondering if they're going to throw a flag, and they did. Because I believe. Pushed out of bounds? Yeah, I think he was on the, the white. Play. I think he was out Pushed of bounds when he got shoved. And let's say roughness. So the flag is down. Bounds. Number 92, defense. 15 yard penalty in a run. Automatic. First down. I believe that is the call. Yep. They'll mark it off. Yeah. Kind of curious, too, whether uh, Jason Eck and his staff, I'm, I'm, I have that feeling when you come out the first series, you're not going to change anything. But will we start to see some of too deep start filtering in to get some playing time in this first game? All right, first and 10 for the Lamar from the 43-yard line. Coleman's going to roll to his right, looking for a receiver. There's an open one, but he gets picked off, intercepted, and going the other way. Number two for Idaho oh, with the INT. That is Marcus Harris. Yep, the Mark junior Marcus out of Harris. Portland, Oregon, just stepped right in front of it. It was pretty obvious where Coleman was going, and he got the jump and picked off the uh, ball and made a nice return as well. Here's another look. It looked like the receiver was open, and he threw it. He underthrew yep, it. Yep, underthrew and, it. And he was in double coverage, so the safety Vandal just jumped the on Lamar's in front line. of it. And First down Marcus line Harris. Line. Harris Portland. pretty happy. He, yeah. he started at Oregon State, and a uh, heck of a play right there. So now we'll see if Idaho's offense – We'll continue their role here. All right, Giovanni Gray at quarterback. There's a pitch. Some room running the other way. That's Woods. Not going to get a whole lot Woods this time, though. Up front for Lamar. Did a pretty good job Tackle standing everybody Taylor up. Williams. Not much there. Giovanni McCoy, the quarterback. Again, if you're just joining us. Timeout. Uh, man Andrew. down. Offense. Let me check on him. So timeout on the field. Might be a cramp. Look, yeah, definitely looks like a cramp. We'll be right back. Thing to these mega banks, you're just an account number, and no one seems to even notice. You're so wrapped up in other things. Well, snap out of it. There's a movement to take back control to take back financial freedom, to take back banking. Kasasa is checking that rewards you for doing everyday things that you're already doing anyway. So join the movement. Take back banking with Kasasa. Get Kasasa checking at MCT Credit Union.
citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go. Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading protection to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. All right, uh, Idaho's Turn Ivy helped off the field with cramps. Uh, you would expect that on this hot night. There's a double pass by the Vandals, and it is going to go for a touchdown. Titans pass. A little razzle-dazzle as they take it in. Romano hauling it in for the touchdown. I believe Hatton it threw was, it. I was just about to say it was Hatton. It's not enough to score two touchdowns <laughs> on receiving. How about you throw for one as well? And, they, you know, right there, Coach Eck picks a great spot to run it. You know, you had a timeout on the yep. field. Come yep. back out. Let's Plenty run of the time to play. set things up. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see it one more time. So it's a celebration. But right now we got another PAT attempt. Chavez on for the PAT. Press Tack it on and the add to the Vandals' lead. Is up and it's good. Actually, that was Logan Prescott with the PAT. So 35 nothing is our score. We'll be back right after this. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Book a work trip. Earn one key cash. Shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a get away from work trip. Use one key cash. Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. I like the play. I like the play. Double pass, Hatton with the touchdown toss. Well, I tell you what, in the the impressive part was how tight the spiral was yes. from Hatton. I mean, he just, it was like it was such a natural thing to do. He laid it right into Nick Romano, 45 yards for the touchdown. Here's my thought process on that is that it looks like the might have gone out of bounds on the kickoff. You pull that play out maybe just to see if it's going to work, but that sounds like something you need in a tight game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you know, but you have the luxury of being able to do that when you're up 30 points. Yeah. I mean, you can try, you know, some of those things that maybe you're going to pull out later in the season. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, it worked, that's for sure. 35 nothing now, Idaho. Lamar needs a little razzle-dazzle of their own here, something to turn it a little bit in their favor. Looking for anything positive now here as they get this season underway. Robert Coleman getting the start. After a three-way battle during training camp. Well, let me tell you, and, and it, you know, as a player, it gets very tough not to fall into that siege mentality when you get down by 35. Nice run that time, though. Oh, that was a nice oh, little toss right there. 
Is that Harris? Yeah. So uh, Coleman with a nice little pass to Harris for a nice gain for Lamar as they move the ball. Yeah, Harris out Lamar of the backfield. Harris. They're going to go quick, I think. No huddle offense. Why not? Here we go. Hand off up the middle Harris on second on and one. I don't think he got it. In fact, he's I, short. I, yeah, Maybe lost a couple. Tackle by notice. So the Idaho defense, they, they were stacked and ready for that. Yeah, Amari, really good. Amari notice. Yeah, I was going to say up front. Lamar Jakari. Also up there. Also Matthias Bertram. Solid play by the uh, Vandals defense all night long. And we have a man down, so. I think I, th I think conditioning is coming into play here. Yeah, it's, it looks like another cramp. So, yeah, we're late, getting later in this game, and the, the heat is playing a factor. So we'll take a break right after this. You hear that? Ooh, this cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. Listen. The sizzling, the chopping, the spatula. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the. Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Every time you order a hot sub from Jersey Mike's, it's grilled fresh right in front of you. The sizzling, the chopping, the spatula. That's why I bring this. I call it dinner and a show. Look at that sizzle. Mm. Oh, that's mine. Got to go, Aaron. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Hey, future musicians, theater, film, and television professionals. It's time to choose a university. How about a university that ranks top 10 in 100 great value colleges for music majors and has award-winning broadcast and theater programs? That's Lamar University. Lamar University ranks in the top 10 best public universities and among the most diverse universities in the state of Texas. Your moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. Apply today at lamar.edu. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. At third down coming up for the Cardinals. Third and two from the 33. Harris on the carry. And trying to break out free as Harris. Ah, shoestring tackle, and he's not going to get the first down. Yeah, he's just running up into a solid wall. You know, every time he goes, tries to go into the middle, being met by multiple Idaho players uh, up well, front. First down. Bertram, among others. Well, he did first get the first down. Stan corrected. So first Forward and 10. Forward progress. He got it, just barely. But Cardinals offense stays on the field. Coleman swings it out. It is, connect, it is caught far side. Complete. A few yards, maybe, maybe one. Not a whole lot there. That's yeah. number eight. That's Fuseler. Fuselier out of Niederland, the sophomore. Played a lot last year, playing 11 games last year. Yeah, he, he had a pretty good season, had eight catches for 161 yep. last year. They'll give him no gain on that one. Second and 10 coming up for the Cardinals. I see something coming to the wide side. Got trips right. Coleman hands it off. Not a whole lot there. You're right. The, the Idaho defense, they're stacking it up. Oh, and they're, because they don't have to. They don't have to do anything but stay at home, you know, and fight the battle in the box, right? They don't have to worry about someone coming over the top, you know, going deep. So, you know, you, it, it changes your whole mentality of how you play the game when you don't have to worry about multiple dimensions but only one. Third and seven from the 38. Third and seven coming up. They 
Got him bunched up to the left here. Send Harris in motion. Coleman on the run. Going to throw. Overthrows everyone. So that will bring up a fourth down, and the punting unit will come on for the Cardinals. Send it for Andre Dennis. Yeah, it has to be. They're starting to boil over a little bit here. I can see it on the field. Yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating. It has to be frustrating for everyone on the but Cardinals. Massive sideline. frustration for Lamar, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, come into this Main first Jackson game, they knew it was going to be a tough one against ranked Leone, Idaho. Leone. But, you know, you come in, you, you, you're thinking, man, we've been doing this in practice. It's been looking good. Right. But just not working tonight. DeLeon to kick it away. Jackson standing at the 20. Elion puts a foot into it. Jackson from the 25. He'll return it. Nice move. And he'll go down at about the 34-yard line. So that's where the Idaho Jackson offense return. will take over. They lead it 35-0. Looks like Jackson might have a cramp. Jaden Harding on the yeah, he's, he's kind of hobbling off. 931 left. I'll tell you what, though. When he makes that cut, he's dangerous. I mean, he is, he is a solid return guy. All right, so 35 nothing. We got 931 left here in the third quarter. Idaho coming back out. We'll make sure that McCoy comes back out. Well, you know, again, he it, does. You, you have to wonder at what point, you know, does Jackson X go, okay, maybe, you know, maybe we start running in some of the others. Maybe we start getting some time in for, you know, Jack Lane, the backup quarterback. Giovanni throws. Oh, there's an interception nice by the Cardinals play. come flying in. Nice move to the ball by Kevin Anderson out of Louisville, Texas. He just uh, played at Texas Lamar. State before coming to Lamar. And, I mean, he stepped right in front Kevin of that Anderson. one. Good pick. Anderson the transfer, so, you know, there's a, there's there's quite a few First on the Cardinals staff. The they're so Good defense there, flushed him out, and then there's Anderson stepping in front of him. And, you know, it's doubtful this turns the game around, but it does turn the attitude around. Positive. Positive. So here comes the Cardinal offense now. And your defense is fired up. Hey, we got a turnover. You know, it's, again, it's something to hang your hat on. Looks like uh, Anderson's limping a little bit. All, All right, here comes back. Coleman now. Spotted at right at the 50-yard line, first and 10. Hand off up the middle and some room for Griffin. Griffin, on the Griffin turning and churning Stopped there, trying to get up some extra yards. Seven yard, seven yard gain. You know, and, and you, when you look up front for Lamar for their offensive line, it's it's kind of uh, one of those. They've been through a lot of evolutions over the last year or so. They started out three years ago. They had five freshmen yep. starting on the offensive line. Now right. you've had some changes. You've seen some transfers, some JUCO guys come in. Coleman looking to pass, looking over the field, swings it into the flats. And a nice gain there. Coleman's pass. Checking the number. That's Jones. Jones. Yeah, Calling it in. in. Jones, the That's good for a wide receiver out of Normandy, Texas. 11 catches for 154 First last year. Good target, 6'2", 175. So a first down for the Cardinals now, marked at the 39-yard line. I, I, I want to say this is the farthest they've yeah, been. It's their most productive <laughs> offensive possession of the game by far. Oh, straight up the middle for not much. Maybe a yard, if that. Yeah. Griffin on the carry. Yeah, Griffin didn't get much Second on that one. Another Vandal is down. Timeout injury. Credit Defense. Dylan Lane, the linebacker, for coming up and making the stop. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think it's more again more that cramps. leg cramps yep. is going. They're going to be an issue, and you can see yeah. immediately. It's Thomas. Oh man, that that pains oh, me just man, watching. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I live in fear of. The, you know. I think we've been there on that one. If you've ever oh, played, man. Yeah, that is, and there's not enough liquid in the world fast enough. No, sir. Yeah, the heat taking this. We were wondering if it was going to take a little bit of a toll on Idaho, not not on their execution, but, you know, later as the game, the game gets late. Well, and I, and I think that's really when, you know, it becomes a factor, the deeper you get into the game. 
the more likely it is to happen. All right, second and nine for the Cardinals. Second and nine on the Big interception by Anderson set this drive up. And the Cardinals, a couple of first downs now. Griffin in the backfield. Coleman's going to hand it to him. Griffin cutting back. Griffin nice on the game. Nice run. Breaks the tackle. More positive yards. No Griffin quitting, Griffin. You know, he had a standout year last year. Yeah, he had some big runs. He, he had did. some big runs last season. Well, he played two years at Rice before he made the, the move belly. to Lamar. So third and one from the 30-yard line for the Cardinals. Griffin in the backfield. Coleman's going to take a quarterback sneak. Got between the guard and the center. Now the fight is on between <laughs> the lineman and the deep. D-line, see who won. His forward progress, I think, more than enough for yeah, the first he, down. He huh? got the first down. That's good for Lamar. First down. Hey, nothing wrong with a good quarterback sneak if you have no, you and see a hole it, there. Yeah, <laughs> if it's one yard, I mean, you get it however you can. So big first down for the Cardinals as they continue this drive. Marked the 26-yard line now. Griffin's going to stay in the backfield. Coleman's going to hand it to him. Griffin trying to get outside, but that's Griffin swarming out of who defense. They really are. They've moved so well laterally play. tonight, you know, pushing things out. But for Lamar, they ended the first half. They had three first downs. They now have eight. Okay. So the five first downs wow. here uh, early in the second half. 44 defense. Half this goal to end the run. Trying to keep this penalty against uh, Idaho. Going to be a big one, too. Oh, yeah. 15 yards. Let's see where they put it down. First Looks like they put the it down just is it outside the 10? So, falls on the 11, first and 10, Lamar. I'm just, I'm curious if, yeah, there it is right there after the play. Yeah, late hit. Yeah, number 44, a little frustration there. They got it marked first and, it's at the 11, so first and 10. They can get a first down without a touchdown. Coleman, slant pattern. Oh, knocked away. Big time play. Pass intended for Jones. Harris, Marcus Harris for Idaho, Marcus knocking Harris. it away. Obviously, the deepest offensive penetration of the night for Lamar. Now they've got to figure out a way, now that they're inside the red zone, yeah. to cash in. You can't come up empty-handed. So first and 10, or make that second and 10 now. Three wide receivers, bottom of your screen. Coleman looking to throw, and he'll go deep in the corner, uh, in and out. Nice defense over there by the Idaho Vandals. Yeah, no doubt, really covered up. He threw that pass in there. Bertrand making the play for the Vandals. Don't have anything to lose, though, if the quarterback. Go ahead and put it in there. The worst thing that happens is turn it over the ball. Best thing that happens, your guy comes up with it, right? Third and ten. Again, they can get a first down if they get down to the one. All right, here's the question. If this is this doesn't work for you, would yeah. you settle for a field oh, goal? No. Oh, no, no, no. We're going for it. You're in fourth down territory. You're down by 35. Five wide outs. Coleman, pressure on. Coleman's going to go down as the Vandals come Coleman up huge. Keeper. Yeah, nice play that time. They, you know, they just they ran a scheme that – Coleman wasn't ready for. He couldn't get anything out of it. Goes down for the loss. I Not think the field goal team is coming on. I might be wrong. No, you're right. A skate is, he just down. came on. I think it's points. Any, well, you, points. You, you get rid of the shutout. I mean, that's Chris something. Chris, to attempt a the skate field on for the field goal. He was 9 of 11 in field goals last season. Yeah, this is a chip shot for him. Shouldn't Transfer be an from issue. Baylor, and he gets it through. So the Cardinals are on Kick the board with 4.46 left here in the third quarter. The there will be no shutout. 35-3.
We'll be back right after this. Yeah. All right. So, again, uh, Lamar's first. How do we speed recover? ...of a field goal after they drive all the way down into the red zone and can't uh, find the end zone. Started with the interception by Anderson. So defense doing something positive. Offense gets points. Not going to win this game, but it will pay dividends down the road. That's how you play complimentary football. Yeah, and I'm kind of like you. It's that idea that, you know, as far as you know, mentally, you, when you look at the score, you can say, hey, we weren't shut out. It wasn't a shutout. You know, we put some points on the board. But also, maybe you build off this. Maybe, you know, you, you feel like, okay, now we can do something on offense. They made some plays. Good to but see. It, it, it was all it was all about the interception. I mean, that's yeah. really what set everything up. We'll, we'll see how the defense builds off that. True. And they have had, they got a blow, right? They got a rest. They didn't have to stay out there the whole time. Time of possession, that would be an interesting stat. I need to look at that <laughs> yes. one and see what it looks like. It was very lopsided in the first half. I know Fred that. Water kicking off. There's a little pooch kick. And it will oh, be, wow. they'll fall on it right around the 20-yard line. Now, for all the positives the that Idaho has had, and they've had a lot of them tonight, yes. that will be one of those things that they'll look at special teams and talk about. You know, how we handled this and what should we have done. But there's not much they can dissect, to be quite honest with you, that went wrong in this game. Yeah, time of possession. Actually, I think by virtue of maybe the last uh, couple of possessions, Lamar actually has more time of possession. They have 22 minutes to um, Idaho's 18. Wow. But they've scored quickly, remember. They have. 93-yard runs, you know. That didn't take a lot of time. We have a new running back in the game for Idaho. George Number Robinson on the carry. 21 is George Robinson. Nice run, too. Yeah, he got up in that hole quick. By that, and he just kind of picked his feet up. Balls up at this 25 pick yard out. line. He got eight, so second and two coming up for the Vandals. Second yeah, it'll two. be interesting to see how many wholesale changes, how, how many changes we'll see. You know, you don't want to risk injury or also dealing with the heat. Robinson stays in the backfield. McCoy still in at quarterback for the Vandals. And he'll hand it off. And Robinson tries to get to the outside, but the Cardinal oh. defense coming up big. George Robinson on the carry. Nice play by the entire defensive line just kind of shutting things down and then getting a lot of help coming up from the secondary as well. So Robinson getting some carries here, getting his legs underneath him from Berkeley, California. 6'2", 225. All right, so that's going to bring up a third and two. And they'll hand it to him again. Robinson on the pulls course. ahead. Going to be close. Looks like they're holding up four fingers. Maybe it's a fourth down. We'll see. Blake got your on his tackle. Nice play that time by down. Lamar's linebackers to just fill the hole and make sure they didn't give anything up. Looks like the punting union is coming on for the Vandals. We haven't seen them. Wait a minute. Now they're going to talk about it. Now they're going back. Think they want a measurement. Let's see if they get one here. Really right at the, the marker down. for the first down. 35 threes are scored, 243 left to go. Opening night here on a Thursday. They roll the clocks. Looks like a Yeah, no chains. No offense coming. Offense is gonna stay on. First and they give him the, the first Vandal. down. Nope, he got it. They moved him. Balls they on the 27. All right, so punt and ten, first punt and ten team Idaho. came on for a second, and then went back, and they mar remarked it, and it's a first down. So first and ten for Idaho from the 27-yard line. 
no doubt a little disappointing for the Lamar defense. Yeah, they but were, you got to get over that now because that's gone. Yep. McCoy over the middle, wide open. It's caught, and for a huge gain and another first down. That's going to be Ivy with the catch for Idaho. Right over the outstretched the hands the of trainers. one of the Lamar linebackers. Of course, got like a bounce by Steven Is it zero? Yeah, it's zero, not eight. That's but it looks like eight first sometimes. Down. So, Trainer, I think he's caught at least two It looked like or eight three. from old man eyes. I think that's what <laughs> Both of our old man eyes yeah. <laughs> and our glasses. All right, big gainer first down. They mark it at the 48. McCoy still in. Robinson in the backfield with him. And he'll hand it to Robinson. Robinson kind of picking, picking. Robinson that, that, car, that Lamar defense showing some good they lateral really movement. There's play. a flag down. Gallo on a tackle. Came from the back, Judge. Could be a hold. Interesting move. I mean, you know, it's, that, it's pretty classic. You know, the running back, it's, it's a play that's designed to go maybe, you know, right off the guard or the tackle. But it's, it's, it's up to you when you get there. I mean, if you want to bounce it outside, bounce it outside. And he did. He just didn't pick up too many. And I, I'm interested to see what this. Personal foul. Block pulled away. Number zero. Offense. 15-yard penalty. Uh, Repeat. First down. Chop block. Chop block. Okay. Called for the chop block, so they'll back him up 15. Ball back to the 40-yard line. All right, we'll see what the Cardinal defense can do now with a little extra real estate. As we're inside 115 now to go here in the third. Again, Giovanni McCoy still... And at quarterback, he is 12 of 16 and thrown only one interception, but he's got a couple of Time touchdowns out. to go with that. Idaho. So Timeout on the field half. with one minute to go here in the third quarter. We will take a break with them and be right back. 35 threes our score. Idaho in control. <laughs> With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your pro extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. What Eddie? What Eddie? Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hot, hot. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Nah. All right, second and 23 after the penalty on Idaho. Giovanni McCoy, quick pass, and it is caught. I believe that's Hatton. Big number 80, McCoy's calling pass. in yet another one. Complete to Alex Moore. Actually, I, I think that's, that's 84. 84 I'm yeah. sorry. Stand corrected Peters. on yeah, that. I'm not sure that um, Alex second Moore. Down. Yep. Second and 23. Can't give them all to Hatton, though it seems like he catches well, them I all. Mean, yeah, you. Similar size and build from, you know, the distance anyway. So the tight end hauling in that one. It is second and long. McCoy down the sideline and out of reach of his receiver. Of course, pass. A few passes of the evening that he really was off the mark. Got to bring up third down here. We got 16 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Third down. So we mentioned we were talking about uh, Giovanni McCoy set the single season accuracy record last year at Idaho. He was he was through 90, 298 passes completed 204. Of them. And that's, that's crazy. crazy. It really is. 
27 touchdowns, only seven interceptions. And came back 10 pounds heavier this year. <laughs> McCoy over the middle. There's his big tight end again, hauling it in. McCoy's pass. Complete Our second Moore. catch on this series. Yeah, you're at this point in the game where if you're Idaho, you're content just to pick it apart. There's yeah. no need for big down gamers. By Ken Savannah. Eat the clock up. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. So Idaho traveling down here to Southeast Texas and making a good trip out of it. They lead it 35-3. to We'll be right back. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch, butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. What Eddie? What Eddie? Hello, Patrick Mahomes. All right. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Book a work trip. Earn one key cash. Shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip. Use one key cash. Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's tropic time. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun, and be the one who brings it. And to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 1500 bonus cash allowance on 2023 Ram 2500 and 3500 heavy duty pickups. And we're back. Start of the fourth quarter here in Beaumont, Texas. Idaho comfortably in charge, 35-3. to three. Here's something we hadn't seen a whole lot of, Dan. They're punting units on the field. That's true. So good job by the Lamar defense as they force the punt. And Lamar is going to take over. So we'll see what their offense is going to do. They ended up with a field goal last series. So... Trying to build on something here to get this season underway. Yeah, starting a lot deeper, though, in their own territory this with this possession. I was just looking at some of the different stats, and we were talking about, you know, how many yards, how many first downs. Well, Lamar now has nine first downs to Idaho 16. They also have 49 rushing yards, Lamar, to Idaho's 197, <laughs> which to me is kind of surprising because – when I think of Idaho, based yeah, on last year, I'm thinking a throwing game. But, yeah, back and here they are with almost 200 yards. And well, remember, Woods field. chewed off a big chunk of that. Well, they also <laughs> have 209 yards passing as well. All right, here comes Robert Coleman, number five. Going to hand it off to Harris. Harris not a lot there as he just tries to sneak in for a yard or two. 
maybe. Idaho defense still still playing strong. Tackle by Xavier Slayton. No gain on the play. Second and 10 on the 30. Yeah, we were talking about uh, the number of yards and the number of carries. Griffin now 31 yards on the evening for Lamar. So no gain. As he tried to get up in there for a yard. So second and 10 from the 30. Harris going to stay in the backfield. And Coleman's going to hand it to him. Not a whole lot there. Not a whole Harris lot there. Harris. All right. Well, you know, I will tell you that Lamar's going to go on the road a week from Saturday. They play at no Louisiana Monroe play. on the 9th. Follow that up with a trip to South Dakota. So their next two will be on the road. As for Idaho, they're on the road a week from Saturday. They're at Nevada. So both these teams on the road in their next game a week from Saturday. What sure. a way to start your season. Talk about a road trip. Idaho to Beaumont, Texas. Well, they're going to have a happy plane ride home, that's yeah, for I sure. Think what Coach X said that they came in on, they were going to come in on Wednesday. Coleman, Coleman on the case scrambles right. out, gets maybe two. Brought down by Yeah, come Jackson in a little Hicks. bit early. Brings up a Cardinal so down. didn't come in last Sunday. <laughs> it was 110. Yeah, 111 degrees. All time. Is that, is that what y'all had over here? All time hottest temperature ever, ever. recorded was yeah, last we, Sunday at 111. So we, over in Houston, we got up to 109. That's the third time this summer, Hadn't which is the all-time yeah, high. Yeah, so we've tied it three times we've this summer. We've had a couple of those. It, you, know, and, you know, the older you get, you're thinking, man, this, this can't get any worse. It seems to be getting worse. Yeah. It really does. Boy, shout out to, when you look at Idaho and their schedule, at Nevada, at California. Kick out of bounds. And the punt goes out of bounds there. So Idaho is going to have a decent field position to start this next line. possession. So 12-14 left. left here in the fourth. We'll be back right after this. The top 101 most affordable accounting programs and the best value entrepreneurial studies bachelor's degree schools in Texas. That's Lamar University. Lamar University ranks in the top 10 best public universities and among the most diverse universities in the state of Texas. Your moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. Apply today at lamar.edu. I'm a regular guy, not some celebrity endorser. You see, instead of paying for some big name spokesperson to hype the same old run of the mill account, Casasa Checking gives that money directly back to you in the form of cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Ask for free Casasa Checking at MCT Credit Union. Every superhero has an origin story. We all got our start somewhere. For us, it was the U.S. Air Force. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. All right, back for the rest of this fourth quarter here. 12-14 to go. Idaho, uh, you know, firmly in control. And their offense takes the field again. And McCoy, looks like it's McCoy. I'm, I'm making sure my eyes are still working here. And he's going to hand it off. And there's a big run up the Jack middle. The big gainer by Romano. Yeah, he ripped that one off. I mean, it was slow developing, so yeah. Lamar's front kind of got caught up in what was going on, and all of a sudden this big hole opens up, and Romano's through it. 
Big gain down to the 36. Romano on a carry. Romano again, this yeah. time just off the right side. Give him another carry. Good tackle that time, though, coming Josh up and Lowe making the stop the for Lamar. His uh, number nine. Second and eight on the 34 of the Cardinals. Joshua Feely out of Katy. One of those transfers played at Brown. Three year letter winner at Brown yeah. before coming to Lamar. Bringing some of that brain power down here. Well, you know, it's interesting. You know, you look around at some of the uh, teams and some of the conferences and stuff, and now you're seeing guys that are, you know, playing five or six years based off of a COVID year that maybe they I got when the they keeper. were a freshman. Yeah. So they got, a, they got a red shirt year, a COVID year. You know, now they're, you know, six year seniors. Coy keeps it for a short game. Brings yeah, Jack Lane, by the way, into the game. We oh, wondered two when we'd see the quarterback change. Yeah, there's the quarterback change we were, we were expecting. Jack Lane comes in. One of the twins, his brother Dylan's a linebacker. Yep. Lake Oswego up in Oregon. So number two. Lane in at quarterback. And he'll hand it off. Romano on the carry. Nice game for the Vandals. Tackle by Vincent Rockwell. That's good for Vandals. First and down. They're going to go up tempo back to the line very quickly. First down on the 20. And off again. Good run for about four. Something a little bit different that time, though. Instead of trying to bust it, you know, right Almost up the middle, they kind of bounced it off towards the tackle. Tackle by Josh. A couple Lowe out of that one. Yeah, Carlos Matheny, number 25, in it running back in the last couple of carries for Idaho. Yeah, that rotation happening now with 927 left. Up by 32. You know, it was a guy who was too deep. It's all he was, it was like, <laughs> me? Lane to the end zone for the Lane's touchdown. Fast. Nice chunk right there. Complete to Jake Cox. Put it right in him. to the numbers Touchdowns. of Jake Cox, yeah, Jake the big Cox tight end. Ran a good route right across the middle, and Lane with the nice touch for another Idaho touchdown. Everybody getting in on the action. Hey, everybody's going to be happy. Oh, look, they're, they're all giving Cox some love over there on the sideline. Right in the middle of the defense there, found the open area. Probably wasn't the tightest spiral he's ever thrown, but, hey, got there. It worked. Point after is good, so Idaho ups their lead to 42-3. to 908 left to play. Logan Prescott's we'll kick is good. good. 9.08 left, 42 to 3, Idaho. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy. Just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. 
Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. I keep going, I keep going. Allen Rogers is being traded to the New York Jets. Man is in the big apple, baby. I keep going, I keep going, I keep going. I'm a top notch dresser, one two stepper. Still got the belt, don't buckle under pressure. But just in case y'all have the guy, you know who you're playing with. Auto Vandals enjoying their trip down here to Southeast Texas in the opening game as they lead it 42 to 3. Lamar having a lot of growing pains, but we expected that under new head coach Pete Rosamondo. It's all about, you know, getting better and ironing things out. Yeah, and they'll have their opportunities, as you mentioned. You know, they um, wrap this one up, and then you go right back to work. You know, you start breaking down film, you start talking about what's going on, you start talking about. Yeah, moving forward, uh, do we need to make some changes? First the time for the Cardinals uh, and, on the 25. And what might those changes be? The and then, of course, you're you know back on the road going to Monroe to play uh, ULM and then the real road trip up to South Dakota on September the 16th. Yeah, you were just saying, and I agree, by the time they come back home for their second home game, yeah. it'll be a different team. Yeah, we'll yeah. be we'll be back here at home on the 23rd of September against Lincoln out of uh, California, Lincoln University in the Oakland area. Coleman back to pass, gonna tuck it under, get outside, try to use the referee as a little decoy. <laughs> nice use of the referee there to pick up an extra yard or two. Sean McCormick on a tackle. So practicing the up-tempo game here. But, you know, I don't know about you, but I always feel like when I look at schedules, it's like, okay, are these teams that are going to, you know, they're, are they going to try to make sure they're not overmatched early? You know, so that Home they will – uh, I thought maybe it was a, it was a fumble as a so towel. Um, are they overmatched early? Hall. You know, or, or do they play teams that That's they know they Cuddles can outpower? Down. Or do you try to play level teams, teams that are on your same? Are you the minnow or the shark? You exactly. know, that's what I always say. And, well, and you know, I always applaud the guys who don't try to play the easy games. I mean, you know, well, I, I you understand know, it. Yeah, I mean, you know, schedules are, are you know put together two or three years ahead of time. So. Well, I would say that Lamar's schedule this year Off to side. me is one of the stronger schedules defense. they've had Five in the yard last penalty. several years. First down. Maybe with the exception of Lincoln University, yeah. only because I have no knowledge of that program. But, you know, I, I we all know UNL, uh, you know, Monroe. We all know South Dakota. So, I mean, sure. you know, and, of course, and Idaho, Idaho, number eight <laughs> in the country. So That's a pretty tough opening three right there. But, you know, you get past those. It's in the old days. You know, you play Baylor. You know, yeah. uh, and and when you when you finish playing that team, you're a better team. Coleman, oh man, did he hang on to that? I think he did, but he took a tough shot. Oh, he there. took the shot. Coleman's pass complete. To Jordan, we Wallace. got some backup receivers. Yeah, in we there. do, and we also and have that, some. That was a heck of a catch. And a he hold on, that was Google. Isaiah King who came in and made the hit for. The Vandals Griffin out of San Diego, carry. California. Sophomore, 6'3", 210, and he used all of it. So, Coleman trying to get something going here as they cross into Idaho territory. Tackle by Xavier Slayton. And they'll stay with the up-tempo here. First down. Just getting in a little First practice. First on the 50. And I, I think we're also seeing some of the two deep guys get in, especially Griffin up front. Carry. I know I see Kay Verdon is in, the big offensive lineman out of Bullard. That was Griffin. I was trying to see if that was a backup uh, running back. That was Griffin was back in. Javel Robertson, number 71, the center out of Cleveland. Yeah, you're getting some uh, backup linemen coming in and out right now. Yep. That's what you would expect to see at this point, I think. Second and 12 on the 48. So Griffin's going to stay in the backfield with Coleman. Second and 12. And Coleman's going to look to throw to the outs. And it is complete. 
Big gain for the Cardinals. One of their better plays of the night. Comer's pass. Coming yeah. in there and hauling that Andre in Dennis. is uh, Andre Dennis. I was going to say Andre Dennis right out, out of Beaumont. Right out of Westbrook. Isaiah yeah. King Not only did he make a good, good catch, Cardinals. but he made First a good down. move after the catch. So they're going to take it all the way down the field here. And hand off straight up the middle. Griffin on the carry. Good yardage. Yeah. There's Griffin. Tackled by Alexander. He's running heavy still here he late in the fourth inside quarter. Inside the 10. He's had more than his share of carries <laughs> over the course of the evening. I'm going to say he's going to be a little bit sore tomorrow. The legal and the day after. That's, that's 12 on yeah. defense. I don't even that pill is declined. It. Second down. All right, so first and 10 now from the 17. Cardinals. And, you know, a touchdown right now, just for morale's sake. Second down. Oh, absolutely. Go a long way. Yeah. Are in the game with, a, you know, a scoring drive. That won't get rid of all the bad taste, but it will help. But Coach Rosamondo said he would stick with Coleman. He was true to his word. That's what he's doing, letting Coleman, you know, kind of stretch his legs. Not play. Play get used to the system Offense. here. Offense. Yeah, but the next penalty. question is, yes, Second you stuck out. with him through the entire game, but does that mean you won't have a change in the next game? You know, we I'm sure you would say, him. we're going to evaluate, <laughs> and then we'll make our decision based on, as he told us, not science. Yeah. But Second six on the third team. Team. So delay a game on the Cardinals. They're going to back them up five. Yeah, it'll be that'll be a good question to ask him. Is, is the quarterback uh, competition is it still open? Is it going to be open? You know, in practice. Coleman looking, throwing end zone, and yeah, there's a flag down. Have interference in the end zone. Yeah, Dennis, <laughs> Dennis wanted it, man. He got it. He's looking at him like, uh, "What's it take? Double coverage here, and I'm smothered." Pass interference. Can I get Number a sign? Seven. Defense. Spot of the foul is the end zone. By rule, the ball will place to the two-yard line. Automatic. Runs First into coverage down. from Andrew. All right, they'll mark it at the one now after the uh, – or close First to the down one. for Let's the Cardinals. Put mark it down at. Oh, yeah. He, he had no chance of getting to the ball to make the catch. Hand off up the middle. Griffin on the carry. The, yeah, Griffin gets in for the touchdown. First Good touchdown for of the season touchdown. for Lamar Cardinals. Appropriate that it would be <laughs> yeah, Griffin. Griffin. So Lamar puts six on the board here. Late in the fourth quarter, looking for something positive to build on. Chris is straight in to attempt Griffin the PAT. running hard, as we said. Yeah. There's no, I mean, no slowing just, down. Again, classic blast up the middle dive, whatever you want to call it. Skater puts the Kick PAT up on good. the board. And 455 Lamar now left. 10. Idaho leads 42 to 10. 10. We got 455 left to go here. We'll be right back. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Eat pretzels, eat more pretzels, <laughs> watch movies, watch more movies, get airline miles, get one key cash. Book in-app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic time. When you drive a Ram, 
Summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light duty pickup. We got 455 left in this game, 42-10 Idaho, uh, firmly in control. They've controlled this game throughout. But I'm going to tell you this right now, Dan. Dan it's great to have college ball. football back. Well, we're, I, I'm we're with you 100%. Now. I think it's also uh, kudos to uh, Lamar Athletics and all the improvements that they have made on their facilities. We talked about the video board here at Provost Humphrey Stadium in Beaumont. If you get a chance, Touch you're in the area, the yeah, come on, come on out to Vandals a local game and enjoy some college football. We always talk about it being the best entertainment value in town. Uh, if you want to watch some Division I college football, it's a good place to do it. Beautiful field, stadium improvements, uh, as we mentioned, the video board. And, of course, uh, for Idaho, the season off to a great start. But – Kind of what you would expect it if you watched this team last year yeah. and how they ended the season, you know, that maybe they would pick up exactly where they left off. And for now, that's exactly how it looks. Well, Coach Eck came in last year, first year there, and really got, got them back, really on, back on, on a roll, 7-5 and five last year, and went to the playoffs for the first time in years. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're, they're back where they want to be. So, the good season ahead for the Vandals. I don't think they have any problem selling tickets Balls on the to ground. the Kibbe Dome. Yeah. Balls on the ground to Lamar with the recovery. All right, another turnover. I mean, so these are the kind of things that they'll talk about. Well, yeah, oh, oh. By and you'll watch over sports. and over, you know. Willow Fields a fumble you start recovered by the defense. Down. First down, Lamar. That's what they were looking for, you Lamar know. Stevens you're forced you're, the you're out of the game for the most part, but you look for some positive stuff and – be a first and ten for the Cardinals a little more. on the 39-yard yeah, line of the Bengals. There you see the recovery. And yeah, that was scafe. Yeah, it was. And, again, 33. steps out. Put him in great field position. All right, Coleman with Harris in the backfield. They'll spot it at the 39, 445 to go. Coleman swings it out. <sighs> Missed his receiver. Yeah, he had the open look Coleman's pass as he was rolling out to his right, but he just couldn't get it into the hands of his intended receiver, number 12. All right, that's going to bring up a second and 10. Coleman looking to pass. Sharp pass, first down, flag Coleman's down. Coleman's pass, complete to Wallace. See what the call is. Tackle by Sean McCormick. That's number 12, and I keep looking at this Lamar roster. And Hambrick is a defensive back. Yeah, so that's not play. <laughs> well, and it's, it's funny because uh, as you get in the early parts of the season, and I know a lot of people won't, at home don't know this, and – but teams will come out and they will have – they won't have two number ones. They may have four number ones. They may have three number 12s because one plays on offense, one plays on defense. But it begins to get a little bit tough when you're trying to figure out who caught the ball and who made the tackle and maybe the uh, oh, rosters haven't the been updated. With targeting week, on the defense, the previous plays under review. So the penalty will be against Idaho. Timeout on the field. We'll take we'll take one more timeout. Four thirty three left to go in the game. We'll be right back. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop 
Download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy. Just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Oh man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working too. Late in the game, 4.33 to go. Cardinals trying to get some more points off of a turnover on the, the fumble. And, uh, you know, just punching it again. And uh, let's have something good to talk about when we do the film session. Yeah, and we can't identify uh, the last receiver as Jordan Wallace. Number 12 out of Tyler Junior College. Arizona Gary. Jordan Wallace, number 12. We'll see if he gets another touch here. Short gain up the middle. Now Harris for a couple. Clock is rolling. Second and eight now marked at the 12-yard line. Yeah, so we talk about the schedule coming up for Lamar. Uh, a week from Saturday over at Louisiana Monroe. Then they go to South Dakota, and then back at home against Lincoln University out of California on the 23rd. I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure it's not going to be cool just yet, Dan. But I'm really circling the date, October 7th against Northwestern State. Maybe a breath of uh, fall in the air on the 7th. Uh, I think you might be pushing it. <laughs> you think I am? Yeah, almost complete that time. Yeah, complete. to the end zone, just out of the back of Jordan Wallace' outstretched arms. Here's Mr. Wallace. Isaiah so you don't think so, huh? <laughs> uh, I think I've lived here too long, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's usually the next week. It, the at next least. Week. Yeah. And, you know, as well, hot as it's been this summer, I'm not sure if it stretches yeah, out that's even true. longer. That's true. My birthday my birthday's October uh, 16th. Here's here's a look at the schedule. Go down. And it's usually right around my birthday when it breaks. So, yeah, there you see. Well, we have something to look forward to. Plus, it's a big birthday for you. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Very big. Uh, I will say, okay, let's see, okay, uh, Coleman, scrambling, going to throw, in zone. Did he catch it? Hey, yes, yes touchdown, did. Cardinals. Touchdown. Nice play. Outstretched arms, and he brought it Coleman's down and, uh, into the, the hands of number Hall. 17. The Cardinals. Hall. Touchdown. I believe that's uh, yeah, Vontreus Hall. Yeah, Vontreus Hall calls it in. That was a nice catch. Vontreus Travius. Thank you. Yeah, out of Henderson. Uh, another one of those transfers played at New Mexico before coming to Lamar. So touchdown Cardinals. Coleman with a nice throw. Hall really with a nice catch there to haul that in. Yeah, this fifth is year for Bontravius Hall. Played four years at New Mexico. A full Flag career. The and then came here to cap it off. <laughs> All right. Ball Flags start. down. You know, you're talking about birthdays coming up and everything. Uh, I've known Dan now 35 years since when we first met. That's true. It's, that's Bob true. was a young kid when he came to work <laughs> with me. Yep. And look at him now. Right here in Beaumont, Texas at the CBS station. Good times. Where Dan still is. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is the king. <laughs> oh, no, just the old man. <laughs> Katie's kick is up to how that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was the young left guy the contest. over at ABC 13 in Lamar Houston forever. Now I'm the old guy. Hang around long enough, it's bound to happen. All right, PAT is good. So 
Lamar, 17 now. The, they still trail at 42-17. But, you know, we were talking about this at halftime. You know, you come out, you try to find something positive to build on. They've got some plays to look at now. And, uh, you know, Coleman, you know, he, he had his took his lumps. But here late, you know, granted it's against second-team players over there at, with the Vandals. But he's making some plays. Well, I think it's also it's one of those uh, takeaways um, when this game is over, a coach has to say to his players, forget it. I mean, I know people will go, no, you can't say, but you do because there's an entire season in front of you. You can't live in this moment except for a couple of, you know, tonight. And, yes, you'll be disappointed when you go to the locker room. And what did you kick off for the car? But tomorrow's another day, and you start all over again, and you start putting another game plan together. And you start deep. thinking about what you're going to do against your next opponent. And I, I would I would hazard to say that at this point, I don't think Lamar will face too many teams yeah. that have as many weapons as Idaho. You're right about that. No doubt. So, yeah, just, they, they knew it was going to be a tough Free game. But you're right. You, 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 you flush Probably it away. Probably 35 yards on killed. Well, if you down. lose by one, you lose by 30. It doesn't really matter. So, I mean, it matters in, in like, let's get better, not let that right. happen. Well, and, and again, you've got to realize that what you're really Vandals pointing towards is conference play. 329 left. And, you know, they, they'll take their lumps and hopefully, you know, improve it. Idaho, on the other hand, they will, they will take this as a sign that, yeah, you know, what we established last year with our program was real, you know, and we can go out and we can, you know, we can exert and – uh, our pressure against some teams Jack that uh, maybe we didn't have that power to do two or three years ago, but this program is a program Junior on the upswing. Carry. I think they'll be content to just kind of run the clock, right? Yeah, they're going to run this out. Yeah, I, uh, you know, when the, we, we get down deep in the, the season, I'll keep an eye on Idaho. Yeah, and, to and see that where will at. be me. Now that Talk I've been Caleb exposed Lee. to yeah. this program, I'll be saying, okay, well, what did they do after that? Game? Second down. Second and, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Big Sky is a Falls big conference. I, I think the way they have three non-conference games. Yeah. And then it's <laughs> conference play for them. Yeah, they, they – uh, fourth game of the season, Sacramento yep. State. Eastern Washington, Cal Poly, Montana, Montana State. Yeah. <clears throat> and the playoffs start Thanksgiving weekend. Yep, this yeah. snap there. Jack Lane falls on the snap. Lane in at quarterback here. Brings up an Exxon, third down. This one up. Inside two and a half minutes to go. Third and ten on the 35. As we wrap this one up. Lamar. First I was looking at uh, the scoring average last seconds. year for Lane. Idaho. 25.36, uh, it was, and they went from 25.36 to 35.92. Yeah, last year. They have year. 42 points tonight. They're ahead of, they're ahead. They're ahead of the game, <laughs> right? Ahead. But, I mean, they're pretty close to where they ended the season, you know, as far as on average goes. Uh, 13th in the FCS. There's a look at their schedule, as we mentioned. Playing a couple of non-conference games, and then you jump into the real season. It's going, going to be a fun one for them, that's for sure. Well, and, you know, if, when we look on, at this game and you start looking at the stats and we're pretty close to what will be the final stats because certainly we won't see uh, McCoy back into the game. He wound up going 14 of 19 for 164 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. While Hatton had one pass, yeah. and it was good for 45 yards and a touchdown, but he also had – Six catches for 86 yards and two touchdowns. And, again, these are guys that are on watch list. So there are people at other parts of the country going, well, how did they do? How about this run? That was Lane, Lane breaking keeper. free there. Had a little bit of Flies pressure. Saw control, opening 48. and took off for a big gainer on the scramble. Yeah, line. but no need to First put yourself in danger, yeah. right? Might as well slide down. Yeah, so Hatton, uh, he is the preseason offensive MVP for the Big Sky, and I think he's off to a good start. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, 86 yards, n not only, again, the catches, but also the touchdown throw. And Woods tonight rushing for Idaho, 13 carries, 138 yards, and two touchdowns. Nice. And a long of 93. 
And it was a fantastic it run. It was. There's Lane again. A lot of room. He's busting it free to the 20 down to the 15-yard line. The keeper. He, he could see that end zone. I, he, really, he I, was gonna, I, was, I was wondering, is he going to slide down on his own or is somebody going to have to come up and take him down? He can smell the end zone, as Personal foul. Face mask. Number 25 defense. Oh, we got a penalty. Face mask. Pass just to go for the end of the run. Automatic first down. So that'll be an automatic first The player's helmet came down. off, does not have to sit out of play. Minute 23 left to go. While we're talking stats, Coleman for Lamar goes 15 of 24 for 124 yards and one touchdown. Sacked three times. Griffin on the night. 12 carries for 44 yards and one touchdown. Idaho, number 25 on Idaho. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat the down. Well, he marked it off and now they're marking it back. How long of a plane flight do you think it is back up to Moscow? Do you fly into my Moscow? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't think. I don't know. I don't know. It's near the Washington, in, Washington uh, Idaho border. Unless so. it's a charter flight, I guess you maybe definitely Spokane. Would. Yeah, I noticed them getting off some very nice motor coaches. I did see that when they were uh, pulling up to the stadium this evening. Now, I uh, when I think of teams coming in, I always hope, and I in my memories as being a player, both in high school and college, was that. You always hope that it wasn't a box lunch someplace, you know, that, hey, can you take us someplace in town or, you know, that you always hope that when, like, teams from Idaho come to Beaumont, I always think, surely they took them to have some Cajun food or something, yeah. you know, some seafood someplace. Uh, I don't know if that was the case or not. I didn't get a chance to talk with the uh, SID or even well, any back of the staff the from Idaho, but I hope that was the case. First Certainly round Beaumont, a, a gracious host. First for 25. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely some great places to eat, that's for sure. All right, inside a minute to play. Hand off and run this one out. Feeney on a carry. Talked about Robert Bonon. Time out. Lamar. So let me just, I was just going to real quick, Bob, for those who came in late. late. Idaho scored 14 in the first, 14 in the second, seven game in the third, operated. and seven in Please the fourth the for their 42 52 points. Seconds. Lamar didn't score until the third quarter. They put a field goal up. Then they added two touchdowns in the fourth to make it 42-17. So if you had Lamar in the points in the second half, you won. <laughs> <laughs> they won 17-14. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the fourth quarter anyway, yeah. Yeah. They'll build on that. I uh, I like uh, Coach Russell, Russell Mondo. Seems like a good guy, has a good game plan, and bring in the new attitude. And, uh, we'll, we'll see how he does the rest of the way through, but he's got, you know, going to get it going. And, of course, for uh, Coach Jack and his team, you can only hope that it's uh, only a continuation of what they've already established there at Idaho and that the Vandals wind up Maybe even going deeper into the playoffs this year than they did last. You know their fans want that. That is for sure. Thank you, Carry. Well, they'll get on a happy plane back Nevada, home, Jones. celebrate this one, and Time out. get ready uh, for their next one at Nevada a week from Saturday. Let me just to remind uh, local fans, if you're interested, Lamar Soccer uh, returns home tomorrow. We'll have a game. 7 o'clock, get on out. Uh, soccer pitch not too far from Provost Dumfry Stadium. Also, Lamar in the middle of a volleyball season as well. You can come on out, get over to McDonald Gym and catch some of the action there as well. Always encourage people. you got kids playing volleyball, come see some real volleyball there you go. on the college level. Same thing true with soccer. A lot of kids play. Come see the ladies play. You'll be glad you did. A lot going on. Good stuff to see. I know it's hot, but as 
we like to say and hope that the heat doesn't last forever. It does not last forever. Y'all been getting a little bit of rain over here or not? No, we haven't, we haven't had, had rain. Had, and, yeah. uh, well, we, there were people that got a few, a few measurable amounts of rain over the last week, but it was pretty isolated. Yeah, we pretty saw our out. first uh, last Sunday in, in the woodlands over there. First that time in over 30 days. Off. Yeah, it's, uh, there was some. I know at my house, I haven't seen <laughs> rain in at least 30 days. Yeah, that's what's been making it tough. Time out. Injury injury on the every offense. one of their timeouts. Yeah, might as well. Got to burn them somehow. By rule, the game is over. Get the most out of that 26 seconds that you can. Good. Got to work on the clock management. Ready oh, to that's go. That's it, though. That'll be the game. Yeah, that'll be it. This one in the books. Well, they're coming out to shake hands. And that will do it final as the clock will run go. down. All right, that is it for us. Danny, any final words? No, you know, again, Lamar just has to go from here and see what they can do moving forward to the next game. And to the Idaho Vandals, congratulations on a very successful trip to the Lone Star State. And we'll keep our eyes on you for the rest of the season. There you go. Congratulations, uh, Idaho. The final score, 42-17. This game of pre presentation of ESPN and all the games are archived on the ESPN app. Once again, final score, Idaho 42, Lamar 17. This is a presentation of ESPN. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hot, hot. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the same. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to Mobile, can I this car? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry eats go la señor flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? It's everywhere. Every corner of the city. Blue is the color of summer, the color of champions. It's made in New York confident, tenacious, a chance at greatness. A new era of tennis is here. And if you haven't felt the power of blue yet, you're about to. The U.S. Open continues through September 10th on ESPN.